Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. How are we doing? Hopefully you're doing well. It's good to be back once again here in OCRP and back here on the channel as well. You know what? No, just no. <laughs> Don't need that right now. First day back, just straight into the rain. Nah, I'm good on that. I am good on that, but hello everybody. Gonna get caught up with all of you here very shortly. Wanna say a big thanks to all of you for hanging in there for the past week uh, and coming over and watching the World Flight event. It was a fantastic time. Really cool stuff. Jack, what is going on? Dire Island, 13, 10 months. Thank you for that. Brady, what's up? MPI, 17 months. Hello to you. Barndon, with 41 months. Absolutely crazy. Thank you. Chungo, seven months. What's up, Med School? How you doing tonight? Felix, hello. Goonie died. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. How you doing tonight? Steve, what's up? Meow to you. Mike's paranormal. Hello to you. Welcome, welcome. The real deal. Hello. 10 months. Thank you so much. We had a great trip last week. Great to see you back. Absolutely, man. Feeling great. Azure Wolf 83. Thank you for the three months. What is going on? How you doing? Finally got Twitch so I can finally watch you. All right. LLB3. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves available here. We don't have a uh, dispatcher on. We don't have a whole lot of people on right now because uh, I kind of just out of the blue was like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, I'm going live. So we try to tell each other that whenever we're uh, going to when people are going to populate the server. So it might take a minute or two. Who knows? But in the meantime, it's all right. I haven't seen you guys in a while. We could chat and hang out and all that fun stuff. So that's what I plan on doing. Good evening to you, Scott. Welcome. And thank you to Scott right here. P Wolf fam V guys. Let's give it up in the chat right now. Round of applause for Scott uh, for being such a uh, amazing contribution uh, or contributor to the World Flight charity we had going on last week. Thank you very much, Scott. Without you, uh, we wouldn't have uh, hit the goals for sure. And for those of you that didn't know, we raised over twelve thousand dollars. Our our goal was twelve thousand, and then we ended up at twelve thousand forty-five raised for the Orbis Flying Eye Hospital. Very cool. Little monster, two thousand forty-five months. That's crazy. Thanks for the hilarious content and endless laughs. You're very welcome. Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. So the uh, the plates aren't working currently with the newest version of 5M. Uh, it's a streaming script uh, that streams in those plates. I believe they're still purple. Let's have a look here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Go into here, options, and we go to the plate type. You can see here. There it is right there. Yeah, it's purple. It's not showing up as the Florida plate like it's supposed to. So that's okay. We're just going to roll with that. We'll just change this to 127, and I'll be all right with that. So there we go. Sweet. You're very welcome, Mez. Glad you enjoyed it. Yes, yes. Good to have you back. Hopefully the event went well. Brez, it absolutely did. Thank you guys for all the kind words. Is the server for the public? No. It is a white... Listed server, we are not uh, taking applications right now. The website doesn't work. We don't use the website anyway, but uh, we get a lot of people that go there and go, hey, your website doesn't work. It's like, yeah, we know. We don't use it. <laughs> we don't use it, and applications aren't open currently. Uh, hopefully, that'll change here before too long. Uh, early 2023 is what we're kind of uh, aiming for, but you never know. Chevrolet 12314, what's going on? How you doing tonight? Yeah, it was a good good turnout for the event. I sure enjoyed it. Great group in OCRP already. Yep, I agree, Russ Miner, but uh, we do want to expand those horizons before too long. So that hasn't changed. And what we want to get out of the community as well. Let's get on the old highway. Why not? This ain't no 737. Exactly, right? Man, oh man. I lived in that thing. I lived in that sim for days. Days and days. Such a cool experience, man. Dead Eye Deuce, what's up? Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. Little Monster gifting out 10 subscriptions. My God. Turnicle says 127 finally back from vacation. Absolutely. Little Monster with 10 out there. Sonic, MacGyver. We got Abilene. Or sorry, Abe Lincoln. We got uh, Rich Big. We got... Uh, hysterical vlogs. Good to see you back once again. Jay Montano. Peerlessly hinged. Uh, the Endless Drumming and Hitman. Welcome to the stream family. Thank you to Little Monster for gifting out those 10 subscriptions. Thank you for doing that. Scott Vars, thank you for the 10 months. I'm doing just fine. How you doing? 
Sheriff 2021, you ever thought about a podcast? Oh, we, we had one a long time ago. There's so many podcasts out there, man. I, I just don't need to add to the noise. Don't need to. Everybody's saying everything we ever, anybody ever needs to hear in their life, I think. Good day to you, Pakaloo. What's up? How you doing? Ryan Debo Bomar, what's up? Caldy Trucker in the house. And I'm sure a lot of people will be asking me, um, where's American Truck Sim and all that stuff? I'm, I'm going to be absolutely real with you guys. This build on the GT Elite uh, from Next Level Racing has been an absolute nightmare. I don't know if I'm just dumb, but uh, it's it's T-Nuts. How many of you guys know what T-Nuts are uh, that go in an aluminum rail? The whole thing is built out of that. So this has been an absolute like nightmare to deal with to build. So that's the reason why I don't have my driving setup at all. Um, I want my flight sim, or flight sim rigs done, so it should be up and running this week. I'm going to try. Maybe I'll stream that tomorrow. Maybe I'll stream the build of the, uh, of the, of the rest of the rig. I might do that tomorrow because it's just crazy what, what I've had to go through with that thing. You hate working with T-Nuts. You know what I'm talking about, Dyer. Yeah. Absolute nightmare. Papa, think of the two months. Everyone been a minute. Hope all is well. I have the flu. Damn. Well, I hope you feel well soon. Good to see ya. And it's like peanuts, right? No, they're not. Trey McNary, what's up? Have I thought about doing voice acting radio? You have a great voice. Uh, I just stick to doing YouTube, man. Um, you know, I, I thought a long time ago, if, if this didn't work out, I'd, I'd get into like voice.com or something like that. Reading audiobooks. But no. FWeb, thank you very much for the nine months. Had the OCRP baby. There it is right there. The Twitch baby with the nine months. FWeb, thank you so much for that. Prime Ether. Gifting out five subscriptions. We got Navy Chief Bam, 2135 Cowboy Up, Sir Nichols, and Sir Roosevelt. And Prime Mether here was one of the winners of the raffle that went on for one of the Flight Deck Solutions CDUs. So they got an actual CDU headed their way soon. So congratulations to Prime Mether for that win. And thank you for uh, for donating to a, a great cause in, in that charity that we had going on all last week. I hope it stays as quiet as well. Yes. Yeah, we know ATS. I, I know all about the Texas DLC for ATS. I had it in my possession when I left to go to California, and I couldn't do anything about it then. I can't do anything about it now. I don't want to be depressed and upset about it. I'm just going to move on with it, you know? <laughs> had a great time watching the streams and happy to help. Very cool that you were able to win, though. Very neat. Real Ultimate J at 20 months. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Ryan D. Bomar, I have no idea what you're talking about, man. Z Cupboard, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. How you doing? Will Washer, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. How you doing? There you go. Scott Vars, what's up? How you doing? Killer Boy, two months. When there's stress that I deal with, I love to sit back and watch content. You don't know how much stuff you've helped me through. Well, it's an absolute honor to be on this side of the screen. Providing content for you to laugh and, and just, you know, take your mind off of things. It's such a rewarding part of, uh, of doing doing this full-time. Mid school boy. I've flown an A320, 737 Max. Full flight landed many times and learned it in around 20 minutes. I really doubt you would learn uh, the flight decks in 20 minutes, man. There's just no way. It, would, it takes days of learning flows and to master those those things. I see so many sim pilot egos kind of just... I don't know, man. To me, it was such a humbling experience and you, you really got to just show your humiliation during those moments that you don't know what you're doing and, and, and take everything that you've learned in a sim and throw that in the trash and learn it the you know the correct way. Amy, what's up? How you doing? MPI, hello to you. Thank you for the gifted five subscriptions. M3 Dime, we got Dell, we got Coddington, we got uh, Mellow and Shady Nate. Welcome to the stream family. MPI, thank you so much for doing that. And Brandman, 1983, 20 months, big 2-0 in Portland for the week and catching some great content to keep it up. You got it. How much to know did we get? We got a dusting last night, a dusting. And on Saturday, we didn't get anything. It was all like south of us. Do you watch your old LSP to content? I love watching the AI lose their minds and your funny reactions. Uh, I haven't watched that in a very long time. No. Plane takes basically a collector keychain made of real skin of an airplane. They have an airline. Oh, no, no. And I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for an SR-71. I don't have an attachment to the SR-71 Blackbird. It's not for me. We're just driving around. I know this is grape seeds uh, territory, but we're just, you know, driving around until stuff starts to happen. Well, we got the server starting to populate now. Very cool. 
the biggest thing for me was learning about CRM, crew resource management, and uh, and also like you know, and just learning to just shut the uh, the f up and learn. That was the coolest thing. I am doing good. Mystic, how you doing tonight? Sage times you got eight inches of snow in South Dakota. Ooh, sounds cold. Sounds cool. Helicopter smasher. What's up? How you doing? I haven't been able to play the 40th anniversary update for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator either. So I, I really want to move into that this week. Get that set up. I had a cable show up for the final piece I needed for that today. So, or uh, while I was gone. So I'll be able to run internet into there because you know you got to have internet running um, <laughs> for Microsoft Flight Simulator. My pilot license still up to date. Well, it's not really how it works. You 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 are you stay current based on your uh, your physical, your medical physical, and also uh, your BFR, your biennial flight review. Um, I am not current right now, no, and I don't have any plans to be anytime soon, but. That could change. I've had a lot of offers to get it done and get back in the air again. And I don't know. To me, it's it's not something that uh, I just prioritize right now. I wanted to, you know, back in the day when I wanted to become an airline pilot, but that's not the case today. The Spruce Cruise is a hell of an aircraft. It's not study level. Oh, I wouldn't imagine it to be study level in quotation marks. I absolutely loathe and despise that uh, that term so dumb study level anything study level i could study to fly the default cessna 172 and it would be study level but that's neither here nor there but i wouldn't imagine it it's a default airplane so mr scar 74 thing with 16 months mr stoppel 59 months you as well you came in clutch and gave some donations out and stuff and you won some sceneries and things like that very cool how you doing tonight mr chuck 59 months I'll try to have a good patrol. You getting in the server or in, uh, not tonight? Mm -mm 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 uh, Papa, yeah, I saw it. Uh, we don't, we don't tend to harp on tragedy and, and, and terrible things here in our streams. We, we all come here to escape from that kind of crap that we can read on the internet. So we're not going to discuss about aviation tragedy or you know, uh, loss of life elsewhere. So it's just, there's no, no place for it here in our streams. We get it. We get it everywhere else, man. Everywhere else. Everybody's doom and glooming constantly. So if you're looking for doom and gloom, you can find it. I promise you. It just won't be here. No, you're, you're all good, man. You're all good. I just know if you type something like that, it's going to get people's ears to perk up and go, Oh yeah, my, my two cents this and no one wants it. So. I'm just letting it known. Let it let it be known. What is that? Really cool. Uh, I can't talk about it. I'm under NDA right now, but there is something on the horizon. Very cool. I cannot wait to show you guys, and it will be possibly this week or next week. So it has to do with aviation, but that's it. That's all I can say. It's all I can say. Hey, it's Rob. I haven't heard Rob in a while. Bum 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 ba -da -da -da. I don't think that term should even be muttered outside of a flight safety or training center. Yeah, pretty much BKS. <laughs> this the flight simming ego, man. Let me tell you. The thing is, it's like you know, doing world flight and doing CRM and being around other like-minded individuals and having a goal that we set out to fly, you know, seven thirty-seven around the world and all of that. Really, just kind of made everything so like crystal clear to me when I got back that when I was on the forums. The Microsoft forums and, and reading things, I was just like, man, the flight sim ego is really just a sad story. If people would just learn to just shut the f up and 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 hear what other people have to say, they would get so much more out of out of it. Kind of like you know, you approach it how you would in the real world of learning aviation. But everybody seems to think they're the best pilot on the planet, and that's the problem I have with a lot of you know, sim aviation. Everybody thinks they're the best. It's just like you know. I don't know. 
I don't know about all that. If you guys know what I mean. Everybody trying to get the, uh, you know, the perfect landing rate and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, I mean, you, you can do that and you can land the plane correctly and all that. But also, it's like, there's so much more to it all. And we should all be having fun and all that stuff instead of cutting each other down and not spreading a positive message in aviation. And that's just not what I'm about. At all. Mcgato gifted out three subscriptions. Thank you so much for doing that. You get no, you gave out three months of tier one to Helicopter Smasher. That was really kind of you. Thank you for doing that. And Helicopter Smasher, have you been enjoying the helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator? <laughs> Jeremy, I'm the best FS pilot ever. I know. I know. If you could drive any luxury vehicle, what would you drive? Currently, it would be a Tesla, man. Uh, I got to ride in a lot of those over the last week in California, and I'm sold. I, I, I would I would sell the the Ram tomorrow and buy a Tesla. If we were we were we're about to pay the the Ram off, so it's kind of dumb to kind of just you know lose all that money on a truck like that. But yeah, for the most part, yeah, absolutely, Matt. That's what it's all about, dude. The whole, uh, the whole ego thing in, in, in flight sim, I'm just, I'm so over it. I'm so over it. I've seen it everywhere. I've seen it in person at the expos and everything else. I'm just done with that. And, you know, I'm so grateful I was able to be with a good group of people uh, for World Flight. I felt like we got disrespected as a team at the end of it um, with not only the controllers, the VATSIM controllers and the way they handled us, but also the other World Flight teams. I, I feel I feel like we had disrespect thrown our way, and I, I'm not sure why we're all kind of together and trying to raise money, you know, uh, for for good causes. And it seemed like ego got the best of of some of them. So I don't know. People show their true colors sometimes, and it's uh, it's sad, but it is what it is. That's your dream car, the Tesla. Noah, very very cool. Yeah, I mean, dude, it was so cool, and it was the first time I've ever ever been in a Tesla. How many guys have been in a Tesla and did the zero to sixty miles an hour? Uh, feeling what that's like to have that raw torque it feels just like if you go to a museum amusement park and you get into a uh, roller coaster that shoots you out of a cannon at zero to 60 miles an hour in like four seconds or three seconds that's what it felt like and it's insane like your your consciousness can't even keep up with what's happening Runquist, thank you for the cheer appreciate you big time how you doing FS20 Alpha Forms, that was a load of joy and sunshine. Oh my god, you aren't wrong about that, Jeremy. <laughs> oh man, it was rough. How'd you like SoCal? Uh, I've been to SoCal before. Uh, had had a couple nice days. The rest of it was very cold and, and kind of terrible weather and rainy. Wasn't good. Captain Penguin, is that you? It definitely is. I'm proud to be a penguin. Dream cars a 98 Viper GTSR. Oh man, I remember those. Speed Need for Speed. I think sold a lot of those to some kids or some some people that grew up later in life, for sure. Dude, the 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 thing about a Tesla is that it, it's it feels like you're in a futuristic vehicle. Like everything is like catered to modern today everything. When you sit back in like your normal car, it feels like you're just driving in the 70s again with just a lot more gimmicks to it. Kind of strange how that feels, being in an actual car of the future. Mm -mm -mm. Not to mention, I trust a lot more people in a Tesla than I do behind the wheel normally. So, <laughs> Or I trust the, the, the AI of a Tesla over some, uh, some humans that are driving behind the wheel. That's for certain. GBU! Or G Bacola for whenever I see Jeff go live, I get so happy. Same with when I see him post a new video. He's the one I go to when I'm feeling down. It just has that voice to boost my mood. Well, I'm so happy that we're able to do that for you. Hope you're doing well. Guzzy, what's up? Thank you for the 14 months. Good to see you, man. You ready for uh for Thursday, the final race of the season? Do I have stock in Tesla? No, I do not. Yes, same thing, Jeremy. I actually said that whenever you put a Tesla in reverse, it makes that like sound. 
I got it. it feels like the Jetsons. Quiet, smooth, quick, refined, futuristic. Yes. Nailed it. Nailed it. We've got a little dusting of snow, Crusado, here and there. Knowing Giraffe, thank you so much. Or Known Giraffe, 17 months. Good to see you. Sticking your long neck in here, 17 months. Very cool of you. Thank you for doing that. Imagine fly-by-wires for cars. I think BMWs make something like that. Yeah, that's kind of like what it feels like with the, with the Tesla. So, nothing beats the PT Cruiser. Troy Baines, thank you for the 30 months. Good to see you, man. Uh, Jello, no, we're not outsourcing anybody for uh, OCRP applications, man. There's a reason why we have the people that we do in OCRP, and it's because of the process that we actually take during the time to uh, to bring people in. But there will be new people joining before too long, that I can say. We're still getting through them, and um, I, know some, I know some people personally that want to do it, so... Lots of stuff. PC Gamer, this ain't Mule. Thank you for the six months. Good to see you. How you doing? All right, Chevy. Have a good night. Snow in the server. That'll be in uh, December. And it'll probably only be for a couple of weeks because everybody hates it after a couple of weeks. A full month of it is annoying. Or I might just make it server two snow for the month of December and server one will be normal. That way people will want to do both. My cop in real life? No. Absolutely not. Is there anybody in the server? Yes. We just have we got quite a few people in here. Just slow so far. Yeah, but come here, man. Sully, what's up? How you doing? Mm -hmm. So just a December boo. Yep. Because you know how everybody feels about it. It gets old real quick in GTA. It really does. Oh, man. Uh, let's not do the uh, the charity link, guys. That's not currently going on. That needs to be removed, so please don't do that. I don't even know why we're even putting that in there. Who's who's tripping uh, up uh, Nightbot? And why are we doing this? Yeah, let's not do that, guys. I mean, we have to time people out over that stuff. Uh, uh, uh. You know what? Is there something I didn't turn back on with Twitch? Let me see. I remember I did stuff. Oh, yeah, I think it did. This is a very annoying... I gotta remember what it was. And ads are all turned off as usual. None of that is different. Creation. I don't remember. No, everything else is fine. From what I can see. Yeah, it looks like it's all fine and dandy. Caddy zero five zero ten fifty. From what I remember. At nine forty nine, yellow jack. I got a somebody pulled over at yellow jack. So that's the thing. Yeah, I don't I don't think I forgot anything. I, I thought there was something I had to turn back on, but I guess not. I think we're good. Gordon, I do not live in Florida. I haven't for uh, a few months now. Mopar Johnson, thank you for the two months. Sorry, gifting out two subscriptions total, but one out to Center Gamer1234. Appreciate that. Glenn, 36 months. Good to see you, man. How you doing? All right. Back to it. It's a 10 cover a traffic stop. You just heard it at a 1050. 
car am I driving? It's a Dodge Charger. Med school, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. I was just looking at stuff on uh, on my Twitch uh, admin side of things to make sure everything was working f fantastic. Oh, look at that. Sandy Shores. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was good. Would you rather be a sieve or cobbin plane? I like them both. L Tucker, uh, trucker. I think it was the 12 months, one year subbed in Twitch, but I have been watching the YouTube channel for many more. Cheers, Jeff. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. What's the next video? Just released one tonight. Just re released one tonight. Can an off-duty cop be bad? No. We don't allow the 10-year-old, like, I'm a crooked bad cop. I'm going to take you to jail, even though I'm not a cop right now. We don't allow that to happen. Ah, the yellow jack. He's got him pulled over. Let's go see what's going on here. We'll back him up. That's uh, Jason. Jason uh, completed his LEO training. Look at him go. How cool is that? Very neat indeed. Just hang out here with him. He's he's new on the force, so just got to keep an eye on some of the guys sometimes. So in case something pops off, they'll be good to go. And they're a new character, so I'm not I forget their name. I think they're Larry Berry's son. I wanna say. Bobby, Mickey Mouse. Woohoo! Bobby different, Harakazi. I was just doing the kid voice, which is a little different, but. Oh, boy. Ba -da 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 -da. I'm gonna go to this admin meeting, BRB, L O L. Da -da -da. How about cops who RP incompetence? No, we don't allow we don't allow that kind of stuff with our LEO department. Uh, bro, it's just doing it over and over again, man. We also allow you know plain talk as well. You don't have to use ten codes. It's more confusing for people with ten codes than it is plain talk sometimes to actually just say what's going on. You know, that's just solid old man beard face impression. Oh man, beard face. I don't think I've had the pleasure to meet you yet. Uh, hello, sir. There, uh, Deputy Gary Barry. Blake Gary Barry. Okay, yeah, I heard that uh, Larry's uh, son was going to be uh, getting up here into the, in the county. Looks like uh, you finished academy and all that. Uh, yes, sir. I finished the academy a couple of days ago. Just uh, my second shift, kind of the first on my own today. Oh, very cool. Yeah, Congratulations. Academy. Welcome to uh, the BCSO. Looks like you're already out you getting said. them. What's going on here? Uh, he was just uh, speeding. He was doing 15 over on Joshua. Ah, I got you. He's not one of those guys that's just stealing pallets everywhere, is he? No, no. He seems to um, really uh, love those pallets. So they're his gotcha. prized possession, according to him. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I, yeah, I've seen those guys that steal the pallets behind buildings and all that stuff and then resell them. Oh, I got you there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Oh, I was going to say, uh, officer here. Yeah. Uh, this is my brother, so treat him nicely, okay? This I, is your brother? I, once again, sir, I, yeah. I don't know you. I don't <laughs> know what you're talking about. No, his father, Larry, adopted me and my brother. So I, he's our brother. I find that hard to believe, sir, but... Um, yeah, I'm sure he would know about that if that were the case. You just got to talk to him, I'm telling you now. Anyway, you boys be safe, okay? All right. You have a good nice day there, sir. Yeah, you too. All right. Yeah, you got any uh, Thanksgiving plans coming up? Eh, you know, I mean, just uh, the, the normal. 
having all the family come over to my house this year so I get all the mess and the dishes and everything else. I got you. Yeah, it's starting to get cold out, so I'm sure uh, winter will be approaching sooner than later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really hoping, uh, God, I hope we don't get that much snow this year, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, from what I saw in the Farmer's Almanac, <laughs> it's, uh, it's supposed to be a light, a light winter for us in the early, uh, early end of, uh, December there. I got you. I got you. Well, I have to tell my pops then to slow down because, you know, he, you know, as well as I do, he's not the world's greatest driver. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I pulled him over before. <laughs> I imagine everybody on the force has. Well, hey, man, if you ever have any questions or anything, feel free to reach out anytime. Uh, welcome to BCSO, and I'll see you out there. All right. Thank you, sir. Nice meeting you. Yeah, absolutely. Take care now. All right. You too. There you go. Larry Barry's son. Andrew is 529. Be back. It's not Barry. It's Jason. It's his voice, but not Larry Barry. Caddy 050. I'll be 1098 warning given. Yep, Gary Berry. Are Lonnie and C Price related? Yes. Father and son. What vehicles should OCRP add? None. For the love of God, none. We're good on vehicles for LEO and on everything else. Uh, we have our Civ vehicles being redone by Thera right now, and once those are complete, we are not touching vehicles for a long time, man. You can't, you can't just throw band-aids on things and expect it to fix the problem. You know, you can't just keep throwing assets at a server, hoping you're going to have more and more people want to join and play. It doesn't work that way. I think he's just sitting there. It'd be cool to have a Tesla. I would agree with that. We have plenty of vehicles. That's why a lot of people were on the uh, harping on us about the firefighter stuff, the, the volunteer firefighter stuff about not having a, a vehicle that had red and blue lights on it, a civilian one that we could use as a POV. It's like, dude, we don't have that, so, and we're not going to have that. It's a waste of a resource for something so small that no one uses. We have nothing against, uh, you know, nothing against people that want to do volunteer firefighting, but we have people that do zero of it, so there's that. I like the SUVs, but they're not fast, and everybody complains if we get in a pursuit and we can't keep up. I mean, it's just part of it, you know? Man, these cars drive so slow on this road. Gotta try to match his speed right there. There we go. That's a little too slow. And 26 is too fast. Like, you can't win. No more CVPIs and server. We have plenty of them. He had FH or uh, uh, what you call it? SHP. You got uh, Sandy Shores and Grapeseed. They all have CVPIs. We're not adding a Trailblazer or a Grand Prix GTP. We're not adding any cars anytime soon. Like I said, we have what we have right now, and people need to learn to enjoy it rather than just adding assets on top of assets on top of assets on top of assets on top of assets. Because that's currently what's going on. And then we get people that come in and play for a little bit and then they go, no. Nope. Or they go, um, I'm busy doing whatever on a different server or whatever. And then, oh, I forgot my login information or whatever happens. And we're just kind of over it. And we, we've started the process of weeding out a lot of people that just aren't, aren't a part of OCRP or, you know, want to be around here for the wrong reasons. Hey, uh, that deputy, how you doing? Hey, how you doing tonight? Hey, uh, uh, did, they, did, they, did the dispatch call you about my mother? No, they did not. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess it's good timing then. My mother, she's missing. I, I went in to get a few things from the dollar pails and uh, the market right there. I told her to wait here in the parking lot, and, and I came out, and like five minutes later, she's gone. I can't find her. Okay. All right, what's she look like? Uh, she's like, uh, she's a white female. Uh, she has like a red sweater, blue jeans, uh, salt um, pepper hair. She's like okay. 70 years of age. I'm, I'm afraid she has dementia. She hasn't been diagnosed now. yet, though. 
Okay, and which way does she go? Uh, I don't know. I was inside the store. I came back County out. She's five, gone. County zero five okay, zero. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, 127, I'm out here at 930. I just ran upon that uh, individual that called it in, so I'm talking to yeah, him right I'm very, now. Yeah, very worried for her. She, like I, I said, she's, she's showing like signs of dementia, here. but I'm not sure if, uh, okay. if she's, uh, you know, I, I, I think she'll be a danger to herself by, by herself. Does she have, like, access to a car or anything like that? Yeah, she was driving a, a like, brown Chevy Capri station wagon. Okay. Yeah, I saw her at the Yellow Jack not too long ago. So oh, I'll go. you did? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye oh, out. Oh, man. Okay. I want to just yeah, be on yeah, the lookout I, for a brown a Caprice come by and take my statement wagon. And I last saw that at the Yellow Jack when I was out there on that 1050 with 050. All right. Yeah, well, uh, we're going to go out there and, and try to find her for you, okay? All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. You got it. Okay, let's go look for the Caprice. Hey Gary, you remember that uh, that brown Chevy Caprice we saw at Yellow Jack? Uh, yeah, yeah, vaguely, but yeah, I do. Yeah, that's gonna be the person we're looking for. It's his uh, his mother, so she's uh, he needs a welfare check on her. She has dementia, and she took off uh, with that car out of Deller P Pills here. Original units be on the lookout uh, you know for a Chevy Caprice color brown uh, and named he, person Charlene. There you Christian. go, Charlene. Currently a high risk missing person gotcha, last seen gotcha. in yellow jacket. All right. I'll Five see you out there. Minutes. So again, Alrighty. Chevy Caprice, color brown. Name Charlene Griffith, 7 year old female, high risk missing person. That is 102. Really, dude? Hundred and two. Locked on. And just gets out of the car and walks away. 127 will be out on a... Uh, I'll be at 1050 with a red Subaru currently right now. Going to be at uh, 928. One occupant went inside the 24-7. Hey, hello. You see, you, see, cash credit? you see the uh, see the lights and you hear the siren and all that stuff? Or are you just uh, kind of deaf? Oh, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I was just uh, delivering a pizza here. Just yeah, you're sorry about that? Well, you're on a traffic stop right now, dude. Yeah, well, this guy ordered a pizza. And I, I don't care order, about so. the pizza. You were pulled over right there. Yeah, I had lights and sirens on. I know you saw him. You got out of the car and you ignored me. Yeah, well, I mean, we get paid in tips. so I mean, Okay, I well, this is not looking pizza. good for you. So, yeah, go ahead and finish up what you got going on here, but come back outside with us because we need to talk to you, okay? All right, there's the pizza, sir. Enjoy the pizza. Unbelievable. You tell me. All right, now that you're already out of the car, don't get back in it. Stay out of it. So the reason why you're getting pulled over, man, is because I got you clocked doing 108 miles an hour down uh, 68 here. And that's graciously in a 50 zone. Yeah, man, I'm, you know, I'm just working the night shift down here, and, you know, I'm the only one delivering tonight, so we're just trying to get the orders down here. I mean, At 108 miles an hour? Yeah, I mean, I, I got to get down here. I mean, I, I've only... Okay. Somebody called in sick, so, you know, it's just me working the night shift. I, I understand that, but you can't be doing 100 miles an hour down Route 68. You have your driver's license, proof of insurance of the vehicle on you? Oh, uh, yeah, I got it in my wallet here. Yeah, here's okay. my ID. Uh, my name is uh, Jeremiah Bennett. Jeremiah Bennett. All right, Mr. Bennett, uh, hang out here with this other deputy, okay? Don't get back in the car or nothing like that. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate that. Jeremiah Bennett's definitely getting a uh, definitely getting the ticket for that for that. Jeremiah Bennett, <laughs> ridiculous, just ridiculous. Oh my, uh, Bennett, there he is, right there. He's got he's clean on all of his stuff here, but I'm sorry, but that's gonna be a. Uh, that's going to be a citation. Um, yeah, we'll go to this person database. And Jeremiah Bennett, create citation. I'm going to knock it down to 80 because I'm going to be nice. <laughs> route 68, we're out at uh, 928. 928. 
68. Uh, speeding. I'll uh, give him. Uh, I'll do 20 to 29 over. It's not, we're not going to give him a 30 or over one. So it's $300. Four points on his license. I'm going to say 80 and a 50. Wait, we're at 50. Or sorry, it's a 60. No, no, okay. I'm good, man. I You're technically calling this a 60 zone. It's not the case normally. So, well, let's, let's give him 20 to 29. I'm fine with that. So we'll just, yeah, we'll knock it down to 80 and a 60. That's what we'll do. Give me $300. Four points. Three and four. Three and four. Now he's got that on his record. Three and four. E notepad. All right, Mr. Bennett, you are going to be getting a citation. Now, it's a 60 mile an hour zone, so I'm going to help you out. You're doing 108. I'm going to knock that down to 80, so that's going to bring it down in the bracket of 20 to 29 over. That's $300 and four points on your license, okay? And your court date's going to be 30 days from now, so it'll be December 15th, 2022. I just need your signature at the bottom. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Here's your copy. You have any questions for us? Uh, I mean, yeah, no questions. All right, man. Um, yeah, just keep it slowed down because well, next time it's just going to keep stacking up and then it'll get worse. Okay, so just keep it up. Keep keep it down, man. Yeah, I mean, I'll keep it down. I got a delivery in grapeseed. So, you know, I'll, I'll try to keep it down. I got to get over there, but. I got you, but I want to hear it on the radio that, hey, I pulled over a, a red Subaru. He's doing 100-something miles an hour because then we're going to talk about revoking your license and impounding your car. Oh, yeah, no. I, yeah, I'll definitely keep the speed down. Okay. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good one. You're free to go. You too. Thanks. Yeah, he was, I had him clocked 108 in a 60, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to work on him. Work with him there. You can look in the brackets there, and you see that it was a 20 to 29, so that dropped it down to a $300 fine instead of something higher. And less points on his license, but hopefully it'll keep him slowed down. Uh, I hope so, but you know he's working off a tip, so I, you probably haven't seen the last of him. Oh, I know. Oh, there's a Caprice right there. County two twenty, I'm in service, available. I do not trust that lady enough to put my car in front of it. tell you that right now one two seven we're making contact with that uh subject that y'all are looking for in the caprice they're back at nine three zero here uh right in front of dollar pills hi ma'am how you doing tonight doing well sweetie how are you what what's your name oh my name is charlene griffith Charlene Griffith, okay. A lot of people are worried about you, Charlene. Oh, uh, why is that? Was your was your son here? Yeah, I'm waiting for him to come out of the store. Okay, where where did you head off? I to? just ran over to the lick ace to get a twelve pack. Oh, okay, I got you. Alright, well he's worried about you and he called us to, to, to find you. Oh, he's such a worry ward, that thumbs. Okay, you have a valid driver's license? Yes yes, sir. Okay. We're just going to make sure everything's good to go here and then get a hold of your son and we'll find out what's happening. But yeah, he was really worried about you and he called us. Yeah, ever since Donnie died, he's been really attached to me. It's uh, kind of creepy if you ask me. Okay, I got you. All right, well, uh, do me a favor and uh, just remain in the vehicle right now. Don't get out or anything like that or fidget around and just hang out here with this other deputy, okay? Oh, for sure. Thank you, sweetheart. All righty, thank you. And try to get a hold of that guy. One two seven. Are you still out with that female subject? Yeah, we are. Uh, she seems pretty coherent. Uh, she said she went to the liquor ace, and then now she's back to pick up her uh, her son. Let's see. Ten four. I have him here at uh, the twenty four seven in Sandy. I can bring him over there. Yeah, ten four. That'd be great. Ten four. Charlene Griffith got a pumpkins. 
Uh, ripped on Brown, Chevy Caprice. Expired registration. Okay, there you go. Uh, and she has an active license, but there's no expiration on the Caprice. Well, well let's we'll talk to her about that. Here in a minute. One two seven five two nine direct. Be advised, the uh, individual is going to make his way over there by his own uh, POMB. All right, ten four sounds good. I'm oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, your son's on his way here right now, so he's gonna he's gonna meet up, and we're gonna get this all situated and figured out. Okay. Hey. Uh, okay. I don't know if you knew, but your car uh, the the registration on it's expired. When was the last time you went to the DMV? Oh, uh, it's been a while. I. I, I, I mean, Donnie used to take care of all the stuff for the car. Is that the little sticker okay. that goes on the license plate? Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's a matter of just a little sticker. It's just, you know, expired tags. I'm not going to get you in trouble for that or anything like that. I'm just letting you know about it. Oh, I appreciate that. I, I saw the letter come in, but, like, I've never done anything. I, I, Donnie did everything with the car, so I, okay. uh, I, I'll have to go and take that, that, get that taken care of. I got you. Yeah, we're just going to wait for your son to get here, and then we'll get it all situated, and, and, and all should be good. Here's your information okay. back. Oh, thank you very much. Mm hmm Got a clean driving record. Looks really good. Yep, I've been driving for so many years. I've only been pulled over like three times, and uh, I'll be honest. I'm not the best driver, but I'm really good at talking my way out of things. <laughs> I got you. Well, I mean, yeah. You're not getting a uh, citation tonight for the tags or anything like that. Just get those taken oh, care okay. of because we see a lot of the same people around here in town. And we see you driving around. We're going to stop you again about it, okay? Oh, yeah. I'll get I'll get it taken care of. If I see you guys again, I want to be on good terms. All the deputies okay. up here are so handsome. Oh, well, we appreciate that. So you said your other son was Donnie. What happened? Sorry for your well, loss. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie was my husband. Oh, your husband. Uh, we okay. Were, yeah, we was... We were involved in a car accident about a year ago. Wow. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we were involved in a car accident about a year ago. And, uh, you know, it's an old car. This is, uh, I had, uh, I had airbags. Donnie did. Catch up to a white okay, yeah, that the looks like I'm right there. On the side for reckless driving. Uh, just sprout I was about yeah, to say, I really hope that wasn't that Mama Drones driver that we, you know, yeah, just talked to. That's, uh, <laughs> that's true. There, okay. okay. Hey, how's it going? Well, the, oh my god, on, thank uh, you guys. I, I, right now, what happened, Ma? I told yeah, no you worries. I was going to the lick ace to get a 12 Dad, pack. Well, you, can you didn't say that. I, well, I thought I did. No, you right. didn't. I, I told you to wait wait here in the car. You had me worried sick. And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. Are you okay? I just gave her information back. I'm just going to let you know she has expired uh, tags on the car, but we're not going to do anything about oh, that. She's getting a warning on okay. that one, okay? She needs to take care of that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that taken care of. Uh, you, got it. You, you need to go Jimmy home, Carroll, park this car, uh, and, and we need Joshua. to get that taken care of, okay? Yeah, you're fine. All right, y'all have Take a good one. It, so. All but right, thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Listen, I got your cannolis. And, uh, there we go, another happy ending, right? Yep. Yeah, let's think it's a misunderstanding. Jimmy. Yeah, 10 4. He's running up to me right now. Uh, 1029 on Joshua. There we go. All right, guys. Well, there you go. We're going to clear that out. But 102, not 108. Yeah, I had that wrong. But yeah. 102 in a, in a 60. Knocked it down to 80, and, and he'll move on with his life. But yeah, apparently there's a reckless driving uh, charger that that trooper was trying to catch up to let's roll this way just in case something pops off with it somebody in pink too got pretty in pink right here with ode to joy and be upset about that it's a good song it's like a 30 30 minute long song ode to joy is and it has like all the opera singers and all that stuff it's a amazing amazing song if you listen to the whole thing if you like classical music, part of uh, Beethoven's and, uh, Ninth Symphony. A clerk from the 2470 Sandy Shores run up to me and claimed that a man in a brown Chevette just shoplifted a number of bottles of alcohol. Uh -oh. uh, last seen heading northbound Island Avenue. 
And a brown Chevette stealing alcohol. That's good. Keep an eye out. 127, you can shut me back. Uh, 10 8. I'll, I'll be looking in the area. I like to golf. I like top golf, but uh, I haven't gotten to the point in my life where I'm ready to go golfing yet. I've, I've done it before, but it wasn't for me at the time. I was much younger. Started getting better at it as time progressed. That's for certain. Vicario Gaming, I'm doing just fine. How you doing tonight? Okay, so Matt's doing is he's uh unit you know, one nine zero. So not only is he um out here helping us out, but he's also the temporary dispatcher right now, so he's doing both. Oh, let's say I have enough units on that. Stop there. That's going to be with the charger. We're looking for a Chevette, a brown one. There's a gentleman running in the street. <laughs> with a cane. Hey, everything okay? Uh, yeah, hello. How you doing? I'm fine. H how are you today? I'm all right. I'm Jimmy Carroll. Yeah, all right, Jimmy, zero. you mind getting off the side of the road here in front of my car? Sure. Okay. Yeah, 10 for it is. 10 for it. I'm going to have that brown Chevette. We're heading uh, northbound on Joshua Road, postal 921. Hey, Jimmy, I got to get going. I just wanted to make sure you were okay, all right? Just stay out of the road. Sure. Have a wonderful day. You have to be safe. You too. Bye bye. Love you. <laughs> it's too good. Chassis 050, 1050 on that Brown Chevette at Postal 1008 North Joshua Road. 1008 North Joshua. I don't know what that is. 050 from 163. We all the way down towards Calafia. I'm just grabbing some CCTV footage yep. from the 24-7, and I'll make my way over to you shortly if that's all right. Tampa. 127, I'm going to route that way. No joke, my grandpa was Jimmy Carroll. <laughs> Jimmy Carroll. Pretty good. All right, hopefully this, this Chevette's not going to take off on him, so we're just going to actually step it up a little bit here. Not going to go full sirens blaring, but we're going to head down here just in case. And it is a shoplifting of alcohol, and they have a uh, have them pulled over right now, so we'll be on scene here shortly about that. I'm sure he wants to talk to him about it. We're not going to be felony, no one called out felony stop or anything like that. So we'll be on scene here shortly. There they are. And that is indeed a brown Chevette. One, two, seven, you show me 97. ID eight moms. Okay. All right, Mr. Chatterton. If you just give me a couple uh, seconds, I'm gonna run back to my car. Run this okay. Got it on three ten thirty seven today. All right. All right. Just hang out with this deputy right here. Hey, how you doing today? We've been better. Been better. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I haven't seen a Chevette in a long time. Well, I mean, recently, I, I guess they're making a comeback because I see a lot more people with them these days. It was my grandparents. It's all I could afford. Okay, I got gotcha. you. There he goes. That's some cool tattoos you got there. Thanks. <laughs> Guys, this is, this is Glenn. Uh, and Glenn created this beautiful cad that we have here. Just Glenn and Kim. Home both uh i mean it should uh shouldn't take too much longer no he's just gonna he's gonna do a standard check on everything and make sure you're good to go all right 
Where were you coming from down the road when he pulled you over? Just driving through Harmony, just trying to drive around, clear my head. I'm having a bad day. From All right, you stop at any convenience stores or anything like that? What six three going? What was the final stop? Earlier. Earlier you did. Okay, what convenience one, store did you stop zero, at? Eight, uh, Joshua Road. Twenty four seven. What's that? The twenty four seven there in Harmony. I stopped at the one at Sandy because I stopped at the tattoo shop as well. Oh, okay, That's right there off of uh, off Nyland there and all that. Yeah, that's it. Then for any other okay, problems, I got you. Like yeah, I, I asked you because I had a, uh, I pulled I a Mama John's driver that. over in Harmony at the 24-7. Dude was doing like 100 miles an hour. This thing yeah, had three, never four, reached five, that. Eight. I'm lucky if I get it up to 50. No, oh, I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's a Chevette after all. Classic car. I mean, it's in great shape. Yeah, my grandfather kept it in the garage. It's got the roof rack on it and everything. I mean, it's a classic. Kind of reminds me of those Chevy uh, Citations. Remember the Citation? Now, I'm too young for that. I barely even knew this car. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the Chevette, and then the Citation was kind of like a love child of the of the Chevette. Then they made a slick... Uh, well, then they started mo making those Malibus, and those are some cool-looking... Even a, for a station wagon, those were cool. I guess so. Yeah, I remember hearing these stories about these things catching on fire, so. I want to be a part of that. My luck. One, two, seven, Probably going to happen zero. now. Go for one, two, seven. Uh, our subject's also going to have an active probation. Yeah, just a second, bud. All right, 10 4. Uh, it's your call. I'll, uh, I'll help you on the stop. There's a little bit more. We have another unit here on scene and they're just uh, figuring everything out. Okay. What's the problem? I, I, sir, I, I don't know. I didn't pull you over, so I'm trying to figure that out myself. I'm just here uh, just helping out. Like my day can't get any worse. Well, like we all like hang out, you know, and, and, and watch each other's backs and all that stuff. So. All right. That's what's going on right now. All right, Mr. Chatterton. Uh, would you mind stepping out of the vehicle for me? Why? I uh, just want to talk about something. He's like is, Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, <laughs> if you don't mind, just uh, stepping out. Yeah, the Vega, too. I remember too. you. The last time I stepped out, I had to run from you because you tried to arrest me. Well, hey, so Ryan, you say, what's up, man? Uh, Thank you for the 30 you know, months. Dealt with that. But, uh, yeah, could you step out of the vehicle for me, please, sir? What's the reason? Uh, I just want to talk to you outside of your vehicle, sir. Can't you talk to me right here? What What's it about? I'm having a bad day. I just want to go home. Well, I, I, I would feel more comfortable as well as the rest of the deputies if you would uh, step out of your vehicle for me, please. Fine. All right. There we go. Just come back here, uh, right over there to uh, the front of my vehicle. Sir. All right. Mr. Chatterton, I am going to uh, pat you down just to make sure you have nothing on you, okay? All right, will you go ahead and uh, face the uh, front of my vehicle, please? All the way around there? Yeah, sir? the play I date moms. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Did you see this thing is getting pretty serious. See, Mitch, gifting 50 subscriptions. Holy majalba da ba da wa da da wa wa what? Dude, if you guys got one, be sure to say thank you. I appreciate that greatly. Holy moly. Thank you, C. Mitch. Holy moly. Hey, you mind if we uh, check inside your vehicle? You have anything illegal in there we should know about? No, there's nothing illegal in it. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, just got consent to search his vehicle, so we're going to do exactly that. And oh, he's under arrest. He's got a warrant, and he was also wanted for the uh, for stealing alcohol, so that was not good either. So that's what's, that's what's going on right now. 
Okay, if you well, were just now cool. joining us, bum in it. Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing all right. Uh, Crown Vic's air conditioning's broken. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That's, I mean, that's the downside to having the uh, the CVPIs around. Yeah, it's about 110 degrees in there. Holy moly. Well, I mean, it's getting colder out. It shouldn't be that hot in there. Yeah, true. I guess the engine must be running. It may, maybe the coolest. Oh, maybe uh, the thermostat stat's broken on that. Oh, yeah, that could be it. I think I'm going to have to, until I can get it looked up, get one of those, you know, spray fans. Oh, yeah, yep. Did you say he, uh, he, there was on video that he shoved those two, uh, bottles down his pants? Yeah. Yeah, his pocket oh. was pretty wet when I was patting it down. Oh, well, there you go. There's a beer bottle rolling around over here, but, uh, I'm not seeing anything else. Unopened? That might be one of the ones he took. Yeah. Yeah, it's an unopened container there. I don't know if he was drinking or anything. Did you smell beer on his breath? Yeah, I didn't smell any beer on his breath. Okay. Gotcha. Just had that wet pocket, though. All right, and he didn't have anything on him? He must have gotten rid of it or stashed it somewhere. Yeah, no, just his keys and a wet pocket. Well, there you go. What was his uh, warrant for? Uh, probation violation petition. Oh, God, that's such that's, that's such a dumb reason. <laughs> yeah, I, I told him he's going to need to take it up with the prosecutor and the judge. Uh, I'm yeah, not yep. sure what it's about. I got you. Yeah, we'll just get this thing towed on out of here, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Did you want to talk to him about that uh, shoplifting? Yeah, I might give him a chat to him quickly. All right. Seeing you in the chat. Yeah, he's in the back. I don't know. I know. We got Bradley on here. He'll be uh, he'll be helping out with that here shortly. Oh, oh sorry, there it is. Sorry, sorry. Let's have That's a listen. Right. The reason uh, the reason we've been looking for you today is because uh, we got reports from the twenty four seven shop attendant that you uh, you shoved some beers down your pants. Is that right? Shoved beers yeah, down his pants. I don't have any money, so I just steal. Guys, please don't uh, stop well, stop well, doing, doing the, the donation link. Thing, is, is I don't know why that keeps popping up. Just sucks. Who's doing that? Please well, don't do that. What? It's never too late to turn. There's no donations around. going on right There's now for anything. Plenty of jobs out there right now. I'm sure you can find something. Okay. Oh, you know what it is? It's you on a it's like on a time it thing, isn't it? Living, isn't it? I bet you, bet yes. you, bet you. Oh, let me Better find that out. Back of a police car every I weekend. think it's a nightbot thing. No. Because right, so I'm not seeing anybody putting an exclamation mark in the chat. Let me figure out what's going on here with that. Sorry about it. One in the car, so, uh, where I'm the dummy. The other one? Nobody else is the dummy but me. Dropped it when I ran into the car, broke it behind the 24 7, just shattered. Ah, okay. Alright. Well, I've got nothing further for you. I'll let this deputy guy take back over. You catch all that? That one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where all my I mean, commands are. It was five dollars worth of beer. I say he's already in enough. That one. So I'll cut, I'd cut him a break. It's a timer. Here it is. Got it. Okay, Mr. Chad, it's uh, uh, we sir. We gotta go down and uh, get your process for that warrant. Would you like county to pick you up, or would you like me to just take you by the station and process? I'll do county. Alrighty, Let sir. me take care of this real fast. This is a night bot thing, thing, guys. My my bad. All right. Nobody did anything wrong. It's like, why is that happening yeah, right now? It's zero. it's a timer that was set up. I didn't do it. Uh, it was set up for me because I wasn't sure how to do it. Because I'm a dum dum. There we go. We're good now. How would you look at that? Hey, Where's Shadow, what's up, man? Go ahead, so one, six, three. Remove your privileges. Hey, just a heads up, while I was out, As I'm, you uh, wish. About there, I saw the, um, I'm assuming Mama John's delivery. Uh, As car, you wish. Like a red Subaru. It's Absolutely whip it down, the, down that road and, and 
like you turn it into the the parking lot, so in case you want to talk to him. Yeah, ten four. We just had him pass us. That's one zero zero eight. He was all right. So there He's you go. Now. I hope you have a better hope you're doing well, man. All right. See you all right, later, Mr. I think that's the same one that one two seven had stopped earlier. Someone ordered fast delivery. Yeah, I pulled him over earlier. He's doing a hundred and eight. I knocked it down to an eighty and a sixty. Yep. Jesus. <laughs> I had Christ. a feeling he'd be back. Oh yeah. I'm not sure if toes on or what's going on, but anybody call for it yet? Yeah, I'll go ahead and call for it. If you guys want to get out there, I'll wait around for it. All right, sounds good, man. All, All right. right. See, See you later. Guys. Be safe, later, guys. Later. Pizza dudes at it again. You better believe it. Mama John's. Never fails. They don't learn their lesson. I don't mind it. I just want to earn it. Yeah, I, we only have one moderator here, and that's Aviator Alexander, myself. Zero five zero, if you could send me a, uh, For obvious code, reasons. Be much appreciated. All right. Back at it again. Turn up dispatch. There's no dispatch to hear. Nobody's talking. But I'd rather not it be blaring in, in my ears because I have to hear what you guys hear. And I'd rather it not be blaring in my ears because I can't hear anybody else when that's happening. My go-to law enforcement cruiser and why? Uh, definitely the Charger. It's just a good workhorse and it's got a lot of speed. Look at the murder kitties out here, man. Lots of murder kitties. I don't think Fish and Wildlife's on either. Take care of them. A lot of mountain lions. Yeah, they're angry too. One's an albino. Did you see that? Oh, look at this. We got a hog. Got a hog going down the road here too. Lots of wildlife have been added to 5M with the recent update. Very cool. I've never seen a hog on this road. Have you? Maybe the only one. Why is there not a dispatcher? We have a dispatcher right now. They're just, they're setting up. It'll be, it'll be okay. I promise you. County zero five zero. County tow has picked up the vehicle. Be kidding. It'll be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Who can tell me the line? What movie was that line from? Now the charge is duly. Your real drive. There you go. Max speed, you're going to the cup race next year. Very cool. Same. Not Power Rangers, no. Not saving Pirate Private Ryan either. Nopa, nopa. Cool to see the murder kitties take on the pigs. That'd be pretty neat. See nature in action, right? I mean, nature in action. <laughs> Nobody got it yet. Nobody got the movie. Everything's going to be all right. Mm -mm. Uh, motion Gamer, if I was on a, sh on a uh, scene, man, I did not see your chat. No. Only Ronka, no. Predator, no. Napoleon Dynamite, no. Wedding Singer, yeah, Uggs got it. Nice. Nicely done. One of my favorite movies of all time, Wedding Singer. So good. It's the old man when they're at the bar. Old man at the bar. The Artemis one launches tonight. At what time? All good. I'm so down to give this a try. At least says I'm going to make him download 5M. Just when you're all done, let us know where to go. But yeah, you got it, man. You got it. Like I said. Uh, we don't have any uh, apps. We don't use the website. None of that crap. We don't even have an SSL certi certi certificate on there right now because we just don't use it. Uh, we pay for the website, but we just don't use it. Um, outside of that, we announce when we have applications up and all that stuff. But like I said to you guys that I've already done your interviews, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get in touch with you about it soon. Soon enough. Pookie Monster. What's up? Thank you to whoever gave you the sub. That was definitely 
It was definitely C. Mitch so that just did a 50 bomb. 110, stand by for roll call. Stand by for roll call. Cross-checking all call. You got it. I ain't seen Wedding Singer in forever. Well, it's a good one. It's a great movie. How's Dave 45, been? Andreas, status check. He's doing good. B ten six five mics. One ninety San Andreas status check. Uh, Boohoo, you haven't missed out on anything, but thanks for watching the ads, man. I have ads turned off, but I can't do anything about the free roll. Can what? Uh, the dispatcher is Brad Bradley, and he is RP Sims here on Twitch, and he's probably live right now. I know two counties. That was true. Today. 127 County Status Check. 182026 CV. 220 County Status Check. Come service available. 903 County Status Check. 10 You want to see what it's like to five, see what, nine, what the three, dispatchers seven, see? Seven. That's a good spot three, to ten, do eight, it. Eight, nine, five, eight, three, thirteen. Ooh. Zero five zero county status check. Zero five zero today. Step or zero five zero be advised. You're showing us a ten twelve with three eleven and cat. Ten four, I'll get that taken care of. One six three Sandy Shore status check. Uh, ten eight outside the twenty four seven in Sandy. See belts off the control Z. One nine three county. And we're out just like that. Pick up fuel pump. Go. Boop. Fuel it up. Ourselves a coffee too. Why not? Step four. Central units roll call complete. Uh, we have county fire and medics and off rotation tow. Have a safe patrol. Twenty two fifty one. Here's our coffee. Have our wonderful coffee. He usually always makes him do that. One, I always six, forget three. that do door does that. Are units looking for the red Subaru? Oh, there's a charger right there. Look at that. Hanging out. The Hellcat. That thing's fast. Those are bad fast. Post in the trash. Pop this thing off here. There we go. Bam. All good to go. That's what I see who that is. That's 4-4 four, four, Huck. Know who that is? No, it's the 4-6 PQ. 4-6 PQA. 46 PQA 46 Papa Quebec Alpha 312 it's the Hellcat valid it is it's not oh it's Demarcus White their name Demarcus there they are they have two active indictments and a violation petition active active that's not good. One, two, seven county. Go ahead, one, two, seven. Yes, I'm uh, here at uh, one, zero, four, seven, and there's a, hel a white Hellcat that's on scene here with a DeMarcus. Uh, they have an active warrant for their arrest and an indictment. So uh, I'm going to be stopping them. If you want to send a unit my way, I'm right now going to be probably turn pulling them over here at one, zero, four, four. Off of East Joshua. Step four. Uh, you east on a restaurant. This guy's gonna take off. 
I'm pulling him over right now because he has the uh, he's got the, the gas thing stuck in his car. That's gonna be the pullover. We know he's got a warrant for his arrest, but that is the reason for the stop. Final stop, 1039 East Joshua Road with that charger. 127190 direct. Over 127. Yeah, just a heads up, I had that vehicle stopped about 10 minutes ago. The uh, RO has got several warrants, as you've probably seen. When I stopped it, it was the uh, suspect's brother, who looks very similar. Uh, by the name of Tristan White Jr. Obviously unable to confirm who is currently driving, but just a heads up. All right, 10 for you. He, uh, he left the gas station with the gas uh, pump in his car. <laughs> 229 or 3 County. Hey, how you doing there? This is a prank, right? What's a prank? This, I just got pulled over. I can't be getting pulled over again. I you calling? Well, you're getting pulled over again. My name is Deputy Faviano with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop, man. You uh, you took off and and look what's still attached here to the car. You just broke the hose off the pump. You took off with the pump in the car. Joshua Road, the back yeah, I don't know what happened. I tried to put it up, but it just. I guess the one to stay. I thought I made a new friend or something. Yeah, I, I heard a sound behind me and I looked to see and boom, there it goes. And you took off with it. You want me to go pay him for it? Pay for what? Replace it? We'll find out what's going on here in a second. You have your driver's license and uh, proof of insurance of the vehicle on you? Yeah, the insurance is probably lying around here somewhere, but I have my license. You don't have your license? No, no, no. I do have it. I okay. Have it. What's your name? Tristan White Jr. I, 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 I'll hand you my license here. All right, Tristan White Jr., you got it. All right, Mr. White Jr., do me a favor and just stay in the vehicle. Uh, don't get out or anything like that, and I'll be right back with you. All right. Tristan White Jr., Probably not even in their system, but we'll see. As to Marcus White, Tristan. White Jr.'s right here. He's the driver he's claiming to be. There's that one there. So that's that. DeMarcus. What does he look like? 229, Very similar looking. Do you want to do a felony or just go up and talk? Oh, God, no. No felony. Um... Apparently he uh, he's Calvary. driving his brother's car or something. That's what the other unit to had told me. Um, but I don't know if he's lying or what's going on. So it's it's a whole mess. But he took off with the pump on the car uh, out of the gas station there. So we're gonna get him out of the vehicle and we're gonna talk to him. I mean he he needs to know why he's driving. You know, or why why he's he's getting pulled over and he's gonna continue to get pulled over if he's got all this attached to that plate of the car. Right. All right. He doesn't seem very cooperative, yeah, yeah, so just yeah, a heads up. Five, What's going on? Hey. Did you already I'll get out and talk to him? Two mics. Yep, I already made contact with him. I have his information right here. I was just checking it. His name's cool. Tristan. Uh, the vehicle itself is to a Demarcus White, uh, and it's got a ton of stuff attached to it if you look that up, but nothing good. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to get him out of the car, okay. and we're going to talk to him. Sounds good. All right. Here's, uh, I have, I have your information right here. Will you do me a favor, step out of the vehicle and come back and talk with us? For real? Yep, for real. Again? Yep. I just did this. I, I understand, but things are going to continue to happen if, uh, you know, when you're driving a car around like this. I and got the, a sensitivity to light, man. Your lights are going to... Well, I'm sorry away. to hear that, but you're going to have to step out of the vehicle. Well, we'll come over here and you won't get blinded by the lights. Just come over here. I mean, you're the one who backed up and broke the whole pump off, man. I'm, if you didn't do that, you wouldn't bring attention up. to yourself. I tried, man. Okay, I got you. So the the real issue we're having here, man, is that you, is this your your brother's car? It's what you've been telling everybody. It's your brother's car. It's not yours. No, I don't have a car. You don't have a car. Okay. I don't even have my own house. I get so the way it here. works is when you operate a, another vehicle of somebody else's, you know, you're you're responsible when you're driving that car. What, what's going on with the plate and everything else? Now, you've got. So the problem you have is your your brother is the one you know that's got the problems. That's your claiming that's your brother and all that stuff, which we're gonna 
We're going to cross-check all the information and everything with that. But the real issue is that he's got two warrants for his arrest attached to that plate. So the more you drive this car, you're driving under like a big red beacon that says, pull me over. That makes sense? I ain't got no other transportation. Well, I'm just telling you what's happening here. When you continue to drive a car that's got two warrants attached to it, you're going to get pulled over. Yeah, that makes sense. It's, it's just frustrating, man. I hear you. All right, because you look just like your brother. You guys like twins? The baby. <laughs> 91 I'm going to look at the uh, ID here. He's a year older than you, okay. On a red Subaru. I've got to stay in out here with me, too. Well, the lighting very kind of my eyes. No, I got you. Yeah, what? The, the problem is, like, you know, when you're driving around in a car that has all this, this, is, this is, brings all this attention. And then you back up and you broke the pump, all that stuff. So I appreciate the cooperation. We're just trying to figure out what's going on with it. Because right now, with with all the problems that that car has on it, man, you can't be driving it. I just don't know how to, any, any other way to get, you know, where I got to go. I understand that. And it, it's unfortunate that your brother is the one out here, you know, that has... The warrants and all the that stuff attached to the car, but you know, you're the one driving it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it didn't work. GME. Uh, let's see. GME checks ID. Is it uh match Tristan? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're trying to figure that out. Uh, the problem is, is your brother <laughs> is in big trouble here. And, uh, you know, it's not your car, but we're, we're going we're gonna to figure that all out here very shortly, okay? All right. You have anything illegal in the car we should know about? No, nothing illegal. All right. You don't mind us going through it? What? Prefer not going through. Okay, you prefer us to not do it? Why Why you prefer us to not go through it? I don't know, personal property, you know, it's just a But it's not your property, it's your brother's. Yeah. He fell for it. <laughs> uh, when I don't think he's uh, like going through it, considering he's on the run from and, the guy. Uh, okay. Well, it's unfortunate for him because we're, we're going to take his car tonight. Now, you, you don't have to really don't got to do all that well i'm just telling you what's going on here man because we're gonna we're going to seize the car it's going to get impounded we're going to go through it anyway we just want to make sure that what we find in there is not yours well can i get my stuff then yeah we'll be able to do that in a minute after we go through it why do you need to go through it there's nothing in there okay i'm just telling you we have to take inventory before it gets towed That's what happens whenever uh, people don't take care of their problems, man. I mean, it, it's not you. You're not going to jail or anything for this stuff, Service but three, that's what's happening. You broke the pump off, and you're driving uh, away with the pump in the car, and that's why you're getting pulled over. And then you have all these problems attached to this this car of your nine, brother's, nine, and you're driving it. Uh, that's what's happening right now, okay? <laughs> Counting one, two, six. Yeah. Starts to look nervous. One, two, six, so he's got speeding prior that doesn't look like him at all. Tristan, it looks like Demarcus is who we're actually looking at here. That looks like Demarcus to me, but with these warrant and indictment and proba uh, probation violations and things like this that are active uh, in all of these priors, like we're absolutely taking the car. <laughs> he ripped the pump Listen, out. Listen, just for our safety, okay? Uh, I'm going to patch it down real quick. I'm not going to search you. I'm just going to patch it down. Make sure you don't have anything on you, okay? Yeah, show me out, our Humber Drive at the LTD. Sorry, at the 24-7-1036. Uh, <laughs> He's not I mean, having a good time with it. I get it, but it is what it is. No, it now his brother's in the in uh, the system, break. so it's not fake. Both of them are in the system, the so drive, that is true. It is true. Okay, let's do a GME searches. 
Hellcat, what? What do I find? There we go. He's looking nervous. I'm sure he is nervous. The thing is, is he's not in trouble. He's not in trouble. 163, Spanish Shore, status check. Oh, he's got something illegal on him. He's going to go to jail for it. There it is. Yeah, but restraining him and all that stuff, like, immediately before we've actually found anything on him is the wrong thing to do. It's just going to create problems. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. If they found something on him and while they were searching him, that's on their record. And he consented to a, a, a body search. We didn't really have anything for that. I didn't have any... Uh, I had nothing, so uh, it's all good. Doesn't look like that's the case at all, so there you have it. TJ, there's no reason to tell me how to run the stream, and no. All right. Nothing on person. I'm a looking. I'm a looking. Was he all? Was he all nervous and jacked up about? I don't know. He's just a little. All right, I'm gonna pop the trunk here. Let's have a look in the trunk next. I don't. I see a wallet here. One two seven, Kelly. Go over one two seven. All units ten four on scene. Uh, yeah, we're ten four right now. We're gonna need a uh, tow uh, for this Hellcat. Let's see, trunk. It is. So for all units ten four on scene, and I'll get started on tow coordination. Sandy one six three. There's a couple of duffel bags here. What are these? Go ahead, one six three. Yeah, they're close. Oh, you're organizing that. So can you get All one? All right, here, go and pull them out. Seven as well. Hey, Tristan, what's in these duffel bags? Never seen. I don't know, man. You don't know? Uh, those ain't mine. All right, okay. I mean, those are uh. Hey, you're, you're you're driving the car, so that means that uh, you're responsible for what's in the vehicle at this time. So I mean, if it's not yours, tell us what it is and. We might be able to help I help you yeah, out. If it's not mine, I don't know what's in it. Well, I mean. Okay. All right, he didn't ha he didn't have anything on him. He's all clean. Yeah, he didn't have nothing on him. All right, yeah, just yeah, just face away from me right now. One nine three. Show me tonight. One nine three. Got you tonight. Twenty three five. Damn it! Why are they? Here, can you walk away for a minute? Not you, not you. <laughs> yes, deputy. Yep, yeah, I need. You. Oh, you're, you're good. I figured he would figure that out, but he didn't. Show me ten ninety seven. All right, you're not under arrest right now. You're just being detained. Okay, I'm gonna let you know what's going on here in just a few moments. We're gonna find out what's going on in the, in the duffel bags. If everything checks out, everything's clean in the duffel bags, man. You're you're cool. We're gonna get you an Uber, a, t a taxi, whatever is going to happen. Okay. The thing is, is we're just going to have the uh, the pump returned hey, guys, uh, to the gas station, and and all will be well on that front. You're not going to get a citation or anything for that. You know, accidents happen. It is what it is. But we're more concerned about the car itself and what your brother's got going on with it. It's just one of those things, man. You're, you're driving his car. You're, okay. you're going to pay his, uh, his, his you know, unfortunate uh, consequences here by being searched and all that. Go ahead. 163, be advised, A to Z towing and route to your location, off rotation, ETA to my... Find anything. Temple, thank you. He's looking now. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Bunch of money, $100 bills. Okay. Lots That's of money. It. I mean... Oh, this is definitely going to be uh, getting uh, getting to Marcus's head uh, spinning, isn't it? Just a little bit. That'll yeah, be that'll zero be going zero. with us. Zero five zero gun. All right, man. So here's the deal. Yeah, you shoot me a, uh, we have a bunch of money in a duffel bag. We don't know what's going on with all that right stuff. So PCS, unfortunately, so. right now you have the right to remain silent, and then you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. One will be a, you know appointed to you if you can't afford one. By the state of San Andreas, you understand these rights? Why, man? I ain't even doing nothing. Okay. Well, with these rights being read to you, do you wish to continue to talk to us? I don't know. Very okay. Station two, county medics and round. What's county in the bag? Response. I'm just letting you know what's going on right now, all right? Right down the street. Yeah, but what's in the bag? A bunch of money. You don't know about money in the bag there? 
No, I thought he had plenty of money at the house. So what happened with the money at the house? He usually keeps his money at the house. I I don't know why he's got money in the car like that. I didn't one. see. Okay. That's yeah, we're, we're going to figure out what's going on here, man. And uh, I'm, I'm just letting you know right now that you're just being detained and you have your rights being read to you. It's up to you if you want to continue to talk to us because now we found some some information, some uh, some interesting stuff in the car. All right, just so you know, the well, you gotta run a Do what? I can't have that. Okay, confirm. One, two, one, have what? Three, right, one, keep one, the money. The money? You said you didn't know about the money. You didn't even know it was in the bags. No, but I'm saying if it's money, why can't I have it? Oh, yeah, I know, right? Well, and it's gonna be collected into evidence. I mean, the thing is, is he's he's got, he's the one that's got the the whole the whole problems with the warrants, and he's been avoiding the police, and he's got one heck of a record, man. Okay. Well, we're gonna find out what's happening with it here very shortly. I'm gonna talk to these other deputies. Is there something else? Man? Yeah, pursuit sounds Left like it. Joshua Westbound. All right. To confirm the uh, vehicle description is a dark blue Cadillac. I've got a so the thing is, we're going to gonna go ahead and, and we'll put that uh, into evidence, and the car is going to go to the impound lot. Um, we're going to release him. I don't have anything on him unless you do. No, I mean, unless he wants to provide us with, with, with what's going on, I mean, he's free to go. Yeah, if he wants to help us with the with the whereabouts of his brother, we could try that and see what that gets us any further. But I mean, yeah, I'm not going to hold him on anything. I just letting him know, kind of scared him with the Miranda rights and all that. Uh, and he didn't seem to crack too much there. He's pretty nervous right now. But yeah, we're just going to throw that into evidence, and the car uh, itself is going to get uh, impounded. And I mean, if Mr. Marcus wants to come talk to us, you know, that's we got his attention. One zero one four. Pretty much. Let's block off the entrance, guys. Members? Huh? All right, deputy, watch out for a you second here. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these cuffs off you here, bud. No, you guys, uh, you guys affiliated with anyone? You, you On Grove Street. Do to get by, man. Okay. We appreciate the cooperation. You, you see, where is your brother at right now? Do you know? You don't know? Okay. All right, so, yeah, we have nothing to hold you on, man. I understand you're driving your brother's car. Uh, you know, you could be in huge trouble for everything that's going on here. We're going to cut you some slack with the whole gas pump thing, shooting off the car. But outside of that, man, um, the car is going to be impounded tonight, and, the, and everything that was in the car is going to be going into evidence, okay? So... I mean, you might want to let your brother know. I'm sure we got his attention now. If he wants to come take hey, care of his point, warrant man. and all the problems that he's got going on with that. Hey, uh, but, uh, he, you know, he, he could be getting you in big, big trouble by you driving that car around, okay? Yeah, I don't think he cares too much about that. Yeah, I didn't think that was the case at all. But he might he might care about missing a bunch of money. Yeah, that might be the true part. All right. You have any fr you have any friends you could call or anything like that? We can get a get a, a Lyft or Uber or something down down here to pick you up. Nah. One ten fifteen at this time. All right. Nah, uh, roll medics. So okay, because the car is coming with us and everything now. else in the car. Uh, what did you have in the car that was yours? My wallet and my phone. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get that out right now for you. Ten four. What's the nature of the medical request? And Can County Toe is here to take it well away. As, uh, a fall. I'll grab his she stuff. And just confirming there's no outstanding suspects. Negative. We're after plastic uh, sanitizer for your safety. <laughs> Alright, step four. Attention on units. Channel hold is listed 23. No one said the uh, money was stolen. I, I could tell you what. For those of you that are having an issue with this stop, like, we're, we're all RP and everything's fine. Uh, this is what would go down, man. Don't don't go driving a family member's car that's got all this going on with it. You probably would not be as in a good as position as we are in right now, given to him. All right, here's your. Am I free to go? Yep, here's your stuff right here. You're free to go. All right, let let your brother know what's going on. County medic. And when you see, look, yeah, when you see him, let him know what's going on. I mean, we got his money and we have his car, so I'm sure he'll be seeing us soon. I don't have communication with him. Go He's gone. All right, man. 
Titanic, can you show myself and his brother doesn't seem to care. At in the real in, in real life, like that whole he would be he would be in possession well, of. I'm sure, we're gonna see his brother soon enough. Yeah, I'm sure we will. So, all right, I'll appreciate see. the help, guys. No problem. Have no problem. Good bust. One two seven county. Can I touch your uh, man bun? No. Please. <laughs> man bun. Go We're gonna be ten four here. Uh, we'll be back ten eight. They took the vehicle away. All right, ten four. Uh, all units clear. Just yourself. But I'm telling you, that's not something you want to be in, in in a position where that happens. Yeah. Pro tip: Don't drive off with a pump in the car when there's a cop nearby, because that's what what's gonna get him pulled over. I wasn't gonna pull him over. I was like, oh, he's got a warrant and everything else. So I'm just doing proactive policing, checking his, you know, the plate. And then I saw the plate. Then I saw the name attached to the plate, put two and two together. And then I was like, okay, if he makes a traffic infraction, we can pull him over and just talk to him, see what's going on. We didn't expect to get in a position where we're going to be repo, you know, uh, take a possession of the vehicle and, and all that. But that's kind of how it went. And now we got we, we we have the guy that we need to talk to. We have his car and his money, so he's definitely gonna want to talk to us. Oh man, got a van, van pulled over there. Nine hundred three. Nine hundred three. Is your cell phone two twenty also clear up? But I would highly recommend you guys to never like take a friend or a family member's car that has warrants attached to it, uh, the plate, and then has two duffel bags full of uh bills that are completely saran wrapped like I, I really really highly recommend you never do something like that in your life because you will you, you would it wouldn't be as, as easy as this it wouldn't be a slap on the wrist and walk away it would have been like hey you're going in for questioning detectives all the full nine yards on that that's what would have really happened but since we're on server two and we're you know allowing people to to have quicker rp uh as far as you know getting booked and all that stuff we're not going to do that to him And just like that, we're back at it. Sharon saying, never mind, <laughs> I'm borrowing your car. Is Hadley here? What's up, man? I didn't see Sharon saying. Oh, there he is right there. He was in a hurry. What's going on, man? Good to see you guys. And if he didn't want RP like that, like that's the thing, uh, uh, keep in mind of this with, for the civs. And I know we have people that are like wanting to be civs and stuff in this, in the server. Um, you know, if he didn't want that RP, he wouldn't have put himself in a position where he was going to get that kind of RP. Like he clearly wanted that exact same, that thing to happen because he was driving that car with all that stuff going on. And then he RP'd the duffel bags and all that. If he didn't want any RP and all that stuff to continue a storyline with that, it, he never would have played along with it, and it would have been a moot point. would have been over, you know what I mean? So that's what's going on with that. Steven23, thank you so much for the gift of subscription. Do they call me Toitos? I like Toitos. Thank you, Steven, for that. And uh, call me Turtles. Welcome to Stream Family. How you doing? How you doing there? Hey, how you doing this? He RP the duffel bags. Did you not read? Right there. Duffel bags. Birdie says duffel bags are full of cash, all in 100 bills, neatly wrapped. Um, this is a, an important thing because when it comes to RP in OCRP, cops are never, ever allowed. They're never allowed to uh, to force RP on a sieve. The sieves are the ones that are in control of RP at all times. Just how it is because they're the ones that are creating the RP to begin with. So. Gotta go get a new car. You just gotta gotta keep uh five two nine ninety eight ten six twenty three seventeen. Gotta keep your head on a swivel with that stuff. Zero five zero county. County, did you call for zero five zero? Oh, these stupid RVs go yes, so sir. slow, dude. Yes, sir. units are ten four on scene. Ten five one ten four. Thank you. What is this thing doing? Oh, people on bicycles. It's an old dump truck. That's cool. And Journey's doing 35, so I'm going to do 35. 
<laughs> it's too good. Bunny rabbit. Ah! Oh my God. He almost died. He went underneath the tires. Holy crap, dude. It's insane. Loads fake yeah, cash. Evidence watch, watch what is going on with those, all this money and bags, man? Candy zero five zero. A lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening here with that. Uh, 10 22. Sorry. I'm going to be tuning in more often. You got it, Hadley. Oh my God. This person insane. They're sheer insane. Almost hit me head on there. Now we have, um, we do have that going on. Andrews, 529, you show me back tonight. 529, it's been an hour 42. Let's see if, uh, I'll get a hold of 220. 127 to 220 direct. Go ahead. Air one question mark. Air one? Air one? Sure. It'll be a Sandy Shores airfield. Point. <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the air unit up. County one two six. One two six county. Back tonight. Nice pink tow truck there. We'll pre flight the helicopter for him. I don't want to break people's immersion, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go like this behind the behind the, the, the thing right there, like that, and then do a Del V here, and then do a person appearance change here for the safe ped as air unit, like that. And then the only thing that we can't stop from breaking immersion is going to be the insta spawn of the helicopter itself, which is okay. We got vehicle, spawner, helicopters, um, and then we got our MD530. There it is right there. We'll let the RP. I'm gonna let the script run, so it'll be fine. Do you guys talk to the police radio or is it Discord? Uh, we use TeamSpeak three, and I use Radio FX is the plugin for it. That's what we got on there. All right, for air unit, we take our audio down so it's a little less intense. Of the actual chopping County sound of the three. helicopter itself. One nine three. There we go. Spawning the heel is breaking your immersion. I'm sure it is. Sure it is. So we're going to be operating in the right seat. I'm sure stop is going to fly for us so we can do a little bit of this. We'll, we'll wait for him to get here. He should be here shortly. So we'll just wait for him to get here. There he is. Nope. That's uh, Jason. Just kidding. Just a kidding. We'll see what's going on here. Let's go ahead and do our e cop it. Why not? Actually, you know what? We'll do e a lean. We'll do the emote lean on the side of the helicopter here like this. There we go. Be really cool. Leaning against it like that. There we go. Oh, no, that works as well. Perfect. We'll wait for him to get here. All right, spawning the up. We got that one. Is there a police plane? Yes, there is. We do have a Sustin 172 for uh, speed enforcement, but we don't allow it to be like Air County One style. There he is, right there. Nice. Three seven County. Show me ninety. Yep, the MD five thirty helicopter. Twenty three twenty two. By code three development. That's what we're flying here. There he is. He has flight suit on. All ready to go. 190. Uh, what's the helmet again? Uh, I'll let you know right now. Uh, appearance. Sundrive. Helmet. Uh, Did you want me to start a tell your way or? 80. Be no, eight, eight, eight zero, sir. I'm going to push it. He's right, breaking my immersion doing that. He has man bun. You like that? 126 Bye. from 190. Or 190 from 126. 
You flying? I, I, uh, no, I'll do the I'll do Ken comms. All right, let's get Simple, in. Not that back seat, you dumb dumb. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Never fails. There he goes. Now we hop into there. Sweet. Awesome, man. I'll uh, get this all set up. Dispatch out of channel cool, cool. So we got initiate right along the 220. And start the ride along. And then we go to subdivision. And we'll be the air support task force. There we go. All right, we go skids up when you want to, man. Sounds good. Remember to get your beacon light on. Left click there. There you are. Our beacon light on. Sweet. I haven't flown this one much, so it'll be interesting. Today. Oh, it, it's fast. All right. We're good now. So we have a tow truck now. That's cool. So, yeah, there's our all our streets. Got a couple of units there talking, having a good time. Everything's good on this side. Gustavo Stoppel is uh, Chuck. He's one of my friends. He lived down in Florida for a while. He's part of the, the crew of, like, Jay and all them. He's up in Wisconsin now. Oh, no, we're not doing this. Go ahead. We just did this. 163, uh, be advised, uh, what's towing on? You reach your location. They're off rotation. ETA 2 mics. Mm -hmm. Temple, thank you. Air 1 County. Go ahead, Air 1. You show us uh, skids up. We're over Sandy Shores right now. All right. We're 10 8. We're gonna keep, 10 8. keep an eye out on things Sandy. here. And 127, will you have a uh, con? 10 4. 10 4. I made it nice and neat for you there in the CAD. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. How you doing tonight, man? Good. Uh... You know, finally having some time off work. I figured here, uh, I figured tonight it's probably going to get a little, little crazy. I was like, it's like the perfect time to hop into air one, you know, just before everything starts going yeah, zero, five, crazy. Zero. Go ahead, zero, five, zero. One sixty three has got the scene under control. I'm going to be 10, eight, 10, eight, eight. How you zero, like the five, helicopter? Zero, nine, eight, 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 I'm still trying to get used to this one. This one's the, I think it's easy to fly. Very stable. Yeah, I just, I, I haven't flown it very much, so. I, I had the other one kind of mastered. Hey, Draco. Hopefully you uh, feel better soon, man. Flu's never fun to deal with. Oh, it's over there. I'm after booking the suspect for a plethora of Oh, plethora of felonies, he said. I thought he was at 950, but I don't see anything. Andrews, 529, 1050. Oh. Go ahead, 529. It's going to be 1044 uh, East. This is perfect right here. Uh, you, you, like, maybe, yeah, uh, right in here is exactly where it would be for orbit. So I don't know what you got there, but it looks like at about 160 for me. Nine Romeo Charlie standby. I'm right around three sixty. Okay, that sounds about right because it's off by a hundred, or by two hundred. It's off by two hundred between the the uh, camera and your actual altitude there on the altimeter. Okay. So yeah, as long as you're at three sixty, you're good, man. Good. Matter two, can you start towards ten forty four East Joshua Road to back up five two nine on traffic stop for jurisdiction? 1044 will be coming up on that here shortly. Hey, you want to just uh, hop in a, in, nine, in, a, in, a, in a comm call here so we can uh, actually nine. just chat? Uh, yeah, Eight, here, let me Quebec, land Alpha, and then I'll do it. Return. That way I'm not crashing. Okay, that works. I'm just going to call him on Discord so we can actually chat. It's a lot easier to do it that way than have, have, have to hit a key to talk, you know. Yeah, perfect. Do an off-port airport landing. You got a good spot right down there. 
probably need right the practice, the don't you? I know. I need the practice. There's a unit right there. Look at that. Going to the yellow jack. All right. He's going to land it right here in the sand. Looking good, looking good. Getting close. You're clear of those Joshua trees. Maybe a little further forward. You'll be off you'll be more straight. Oh, there you go, right there. Oh, oh, oh. One, six, three, go ahead. Yeah, it's good right there. There you go, there you go. Handcuff keys with you. If you could make that works. All right, let me call him up on Discord here. Oh, hello there. Well, hello. Well, hello. Much better. Now we don't have to hold the, the end key to do this. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. All right. We're good to go back up. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Is it, it been snowing up there yet for you? Oh, it's been a mess. Crazy. Yeah, I figured as much. The past two mornings, I we've had so much accidents and crashes that I've stayed late after work, so I've been working like 14-hour days. Gotcha. Glide slope. We actually have a GPWS Gary system and uh, the default Obviously airplanes. CCSO we don't have them in, in these. We need to get them in here, but it's kind of a lot more difficult than it seems because I tried to add a, the add-on ones and I was not successful. Look at this. You got a duster down there that crashed right there at the <laughs> stupid fruit stand, dude. Look at that. Hey. Actually incredible. It's those grape seed citizens, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm sure we'll find one flying around over here. Where they crash into the ground. Oh, we've only had what one pursuit, and it was short-lived, and then it was like a they bailed into a foot pursuit. It sounded like. Yeah, it sounded like they bailed into that the impound lot over there. Yeah. Check that out. Really great to see. All units nine eight eight. All units nine eight eight twenty three thirty one. All right, grape seeds clear. Head across the pond here. We'll go back into Sandy Shores and head over to Harmony. Gomer 216, thank you for the seven months, man. What's up? Some streams are amazing. Keep up the great, amazing content. Getting people through hard times. Absolutely, man. Thank you. Damn, Pilot was in a hurry for his fruit. OIF. Yep. <laughs> Not wrong, dude. There's the pool. Anybody hanging out at the pool in the hot tub? Nope, nobody. That's the first thing I'm going to do when I go Civ. Have a pool party. <laughs> I'm surprised. Hotel. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody's done that yet. You have a pool party and then like people get have to get kicked out because they weren't allowed because they don't have a room there. I I've noticed like some people that I watch there they uh go there to use try to go inside and that the new one doesn't have the interior. It's just right. the pool. There's a unit down there. I sure hope it stays this quiet. We don't get a pursuit or anything. That would be sad. <laughs> That'd be real sad. Get somebody we need to search for. Mm-hmm. I'm sure something will pop off here before too long. Sheriff 2021, what's going on? How you doing? Go make sure the prison's in order. Amen, Reddington. Amen. Any fast moving cars on the road. Felony there, nothing there. 
It's actually kind of cool, the, the flight section for work, I've got to listen to them work a traffic detail. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool kind of listening to them on how they clock the, clock the speed and everything from the hell from the yeah head back over to the boneyard here there's a there's a interaction happening over there just making sure that officer that deputy was okay but go ahead i'm sorry it's uh kind of interesting how they determine the what the um how to determine the speed in the airplane what what uh kind of are they using a helicopter? They, or I mean, they're using an airplane. What kind of airplane do they use? They they use a little Cessna, mm -hmm. but the the pilot just has like two stopwatches. Oh, okay. And then and then they just do that. There's lines on the side of the highway that they look at when they're looking at the plant or the car that they're trying to clock the speed of, and then they just use the time of the what the stopwatches say. To go off of the speed. Yeah, we get to cheat with the little blue circles, but it's kind of the same method. Yeah, it's distance, and you're measuring the speed off of how long or how fast they get to that next distance. Okay, that dude, that's our tow truck driver, just talking to a deputy there, ch changing his colors of his truck. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> you got it, man. It sounds like we have a 911 getting ready to come through, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. We'll have to see. Tiller V4, baby. You better believe it. Ooh, ooh, man. Blue Monte Carlo there at the gas station. Right there at Seaview. Yeah, I'm just checking him out. Wasn't doing anything wrong. Nothing of an interest. Sandy's pre pretty quiet, it seems like. Yeah, so far it's been pretty, pretty easy going. I mean, it was crazy for a little while. We had that, that whole bust with, uh, you know, when well, you were on the ground with me on that. But outside of yeah. that, it's been it's kind of back to back with some traffic stops. Then we had a miss, like we had a welfare check, and that's all we've got so far. Nothing like insane. Oh, that's about zero five zero right there. Oh. Just kidding. That's Connor. That's Connor in that car. See how fast this helicopter is? Yeah. Scoots around. Here, let's do some. Let's do some orbit practice around the uh, boneyard. Okay. Do a orbit to the left on the on that and try to maintain your altitude and, and get it because One, it two, does six, fly differently than One, two, like the Bell or the even the AS three fifty. So can you, uh, yeah. See if you can get used to it. I know Paul was having a real difficult time with with it. He wasn't. He, it was kind of like. Almost right yawing around the point rather than like an actual Before, orbit. With, uh, this is looking good right here. There. Be wearing, there you uh, go. That's a good LTD angle. Blue shirt and blue pants. Oh yeah, that's that's it. But you'll notice so like with this helicopter, like it holds speed in the in the orbit pretty darn good. Yeah, my my thing is just trying to get the uh, altitude, the el keeping the altitude, speed, and curvature. Yeah, I mean, All altitude is looking same. good right now. You doing, you doing the like squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go. Red, squeeze, let go. Red, yeah. Red yep. Camaro. Red Camaro. Oh, what's that over there? Gonna be eight, eight. LTD, Bravo, red Camaro Romeo, stolen from the LTD. Two, five, eight, repeating. Eight, eight, Bravo, Romeo, Golf. Two, five, eight, break. Yeah, this is great uh, altitude here. I like it. Was last seen headed towards the 15 
from the LTD on Joshua. Time lapse five mics. There's a 15. Further. Let's head that way. Go right. 23, 38. Keeping an eye out. Go uh, south on the yep. 13. Yep. South 13 towards the 15. Okay. And five, put the afterburners on. There goes a trooper zero now five, headed five, that way. Going to be postal 10025, 10025 East Joshua Road on a black passenger car. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's not a Camaro, I don't think. Where at? It was in the uh, northbound lanes. Yeah, no, no. I didn't see a red one. I think he's going to be bailing towards the city if he stole it, so we'll see. We've been pretty much non-stop action weather. Hasn't, yeah. It hasn't been a boring patrol by any means. I, I, I love this kind of RP. Should I take the 15 or 13? Yeah, 15. They said they went, they bailed the 15 is what the last 43 was. We'll see what they say. County Air 1, uh, we're headed uh, right now 727 South on 15. We'll be looking for that vehicle. Somewhere. Air 1, southbound 15, bowling the red Camaro. Oh, we're now following down. the uh, Camaro. We're looking for it right now. Yeah, I'm looking here towards Substantia Road. That's uh, yep. another Fudo. Substantia looks good. And if you were headed down this way, you might have gone all the way down to like strawberry. So we could just take this all the way down to strawberry. But apart then from come that, back up. Yeah. But he might have bailed on the two and took the two around. I don't know. See Mitch 25 gifted subscriptions. Thank you so much for that, dude. Absolutely crazy. Guys, if you got one, be sure to say thank you. Of course. It's been an absolute mad lad tonight. Gifting subscriptions out left and right. So thank you for doing that, dude. Ceiling there. We'll check Legion Square. Nothing there either. Yeah, I'll take 13. Because, yeah, if he took the 15, he might come all the way down. There goes a trooper. Uh, down and around. It might be shooting back up to 13. We'll see. Yeah. The other thing is, is he might, might have had out to Polito and then come back. Yeah, it's hard to say. But it was like elapsed time County of 10 minutes, so it's really hard to say. Go ahead, zero five zero. No. Kenny, if you've got a moment, uh, can you run a person for me? Go ahead. Another fails. Every First time we get in here with a C, into a helicopter, I'm you get rain, you get fog, you get all I'm sorts of garbage. Yep. Doesn't want to keep the skies clear. Nope. I did see the bits, man. Thank you very much for doing that. Zero five, zero, zero, zero. You have been absolutely awesome. Go ahead. Kathy Smith is out of 550 Wild Oats Drive. She has an active license. Priors for aggravated reckless driving, as well as a couple traffic priors. No one, no weapon. Simple. Thank you, Kathy. Anything there. Yes. All right, this is it. Whoever stole the Camaro, man, they're long gone. Head for it. Uh, let's check Grapeseed and then come back into yeah, back side of Sandy. If they returned to the scene of the crime, but I don't think they did. They got a unit on scene with uh, that blue car and probably the owner of the vehicle that got stolen. Yeah, with this helicopter, you can cover the area pretty quick. Yeah. With the speed it's... you get. You get like 120, 130 knots. Yeah, There's a unit out kind there. Kind of amazing. Mm-hmm. Copy, 10898, warning issue. 050988 with a warning, 2343. 
What's your six count? I see anybody boogieing up and down Kalafia. That's all clear. Let's we'll see. Four, I apologize. I had a little bit of a cat issue. I'm still so. clear now. That's another unit there. Somebody hanging out in the hot spots here. Yeah, I mean, we could go up north towards Polito if you want. Yeah. I said we just take uh, 68 back down to uh, the 13, and then we can go north and just check north like Braddock Pass and all that. Okay. Because if they're stashing it, I'm thinking that's got to be the, that or the city, but the city is going to be so difficult to even remotely try okay. to follow. Yeah. Tool looks good. Nobody in the parking lot there. Oh, yeah. Just be advised, we do have on rotation, so it's fine. It's gonna be nighttime here in a minute. Robert Ponder, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Our way lights look so good. What's up, Jared? How you doing, man? Oh yeah, it's gonna be nighttime here in any moment. Saying goodbye to the sun. Then we get to see the beautiful beacon light. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. Very nice indeed. Very nice. I'll check good old Polito Bay and see what's happening up here. Love you too, Joey Skate. How you doing? K Boaten, thank you so much for the 10, 20 months. That's absolutely crazy. Four months away from two years, dude. Thank you for that. Dream Reaper. Gifted a tier one subscription to Mackenzie 77. Mackenzie, welcome to the stream family. How are you doing tonight? And Lucas Gaming's with a subscription. Welcome to the stream family. How are you doing? Have you uh, walked around and landed on the Palato Airport? Uh, I yeah. have landed there. I've been there many times, but I didn't walk around <laughs> it. Why? <laughs> I was just walking around it the other day and driving on it and it was very bumpy oh really yeah no nope, didn't know that still too much light for the night vision come on sun go all the way down once the pink goes away then you can bring out the night vision here oh there it is okay we're good now i don't get all those that fuzzy stuff on the edges Yeah, go around good old, uh, yeah, airspace, Zancudo, Zancudo airspace. Let's fly up the they valley just... on Route 68. I figured we would have had somebody come over the radio by now finding it, so that means they definitely went down to the city. That or they're, they're trying to set it up for something. Yeah, that too. James, thank you for gifting five subscriptions out. Appreciate you. Volk, D Bay, we got uh, Singo, we got Pixel, and WK. Welcome to Stream Family. How are you doing tonight? Thank you. Uh, red muscle car. 
Oh. All right, ten four. Red ahead. muscle car. It's going to be a Caucasian male wearing all black. Where's this? Leather with a skull I think they're giving out the bolo. Okay. Ten four. And now is the subject seen departing in the Camaro towards thirteen, about ten minutes ago. Ten four. A uh, vehicle was stolen from behind the LTD. Uh, uh. From video footage. Video footage is emailed to the investigation BCSO. Four. Yeah, it's a cold case now. Yep. We're not gonna find that anytime soon. Especially, we're not going to be able to find it with night vision. No. I mean, the only way I'm going to find it is if I can get the make model of the car and uh, they're driving fast or something that gets our attention. County 126. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be tough. 126. I'm back tonight. Fight 349. Nobody under there. What the heck does that sound? Something going on right here in Sandy. What is it? There's something right there in Sandy. Oh yeah, I think it's or at least there was. Stop? There's two units there and a motorcycle. I see. I think they're just two units talking. I haven't heard anything. Hard to say. Nobody wants to speak on the radio. Hey, Joey Skate, what's up, man? Oh, I saw you earlier. So I saw you earlier, Joey Skate. Joey Skate. Bop, 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 bop. Yellow Jack's clear. Let's head down, uh, what is this, Sonora Way? Never, ever call them by that, those names. Oh, <laughs> Sonora Way. I thought you were going to call it Sonora Freeway. I was like, no. No, no. High oh, higher speed. Joshua, Let's go. Bus Joshua. 115 miles an hour might be our car. Air one around. Close to postal. Uh, 1014. 1014. Yep, westbound. Yep. Tower. Let's cut across the uh, airfield. And Sandy Shores Tower. Air one. We're going to be taking the airspace here across, crossing at uh, 160. On the there we go. Seem to be a muscle car. I'm unable to get a color. We don't have a working spotlight on the We're helicopter, and even if we did, it wouldn't matter. It would look good on our end, but not on their end. It looks like a looks like a strobe light. All right, so we're looking for a fast moving vehicle. What was the last twenty on that? Ten fourteen. So I'm guessing. at Postal One Zero Three Four Marina Drive. They're probably over in the Harmony area. Dot color pickup truck. Yeah, in the Harmony. I see a uh, Impala. I see the car they're looking for. Go ahead. 1050 when ready. Go ahead. It's going to be 950 Route 68 on a brown motorcycle. Uh, whiskey Mike, black jacket, camel pants. Uh, no Is that the traffic stop they're talking about? There's a red vehicle. What's that thing? Yeah, I'm Andrew Baller. Go ahead. You see, they were looking for yeah, a sir, motorcycle. 34 Marina, backup 050 yeah. zero on a traffic stop for jurisdiction. Nope. 10 4, RV 97. I guess they lost the vehicle. Well, there's the traffic it's stop. We're on the right. Go and the motor motorcycle there. I might actually have that vehicle 936 Route 68. We've stopped. Nine three six, head back. Air one, you direct. 
Air one direct, we're on our way. 936. Or 936 route 68, final stop. Right in harmony. Advise. Go ahead, sir. It's gonna be Mike Sierra 377 Charlie. Mike Sierra 377 Charlie. Here's the stop there. Okay, I got it. One. It is that Impala. Okay. That was not a police Impala. That was the one that they were looking for. The one that I was tracking uh, earlier. Yeah. But he wasn't going fast, so. Okay. Let's drop about 50 on the altitude. And then get a nice wide orbit going here so we can kind of keep it somewhat in the spot. We'll see if this guy takes off on him. He might. Is he like 100 miles an hour? That might be it. Plates MS-377 Charlie. Mike's here 377 Charlie. We'll see. I don't think that's the... Um, it's not in the system. Camaro. No, that's not the Camaro. This is, this is a different call. Oh, okay. This is somebody who was doing over 100 miles an hour on Joshua Road. Oh. So we'll see. We're going to get my orbit here going. No working Pappy lights. That'd be cool if we did, but we don't have working Pappy lights. Come on. Why did he move his car? The deputy. Scott, thank you for gifting a subscription to Sheer Insane. Hadley, welcome to the stream family. Thank you to Scott for doing that. Mikado gifted one out to Devil in disguise. Welcome to the stream family. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Caddy 050. Go 050. I'll be 10 8 10 98 off that traffic stop. Traffic. Sample. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this guy's gonna take off or anything. I don't know what's going on with it. There's a bribe. Jay, think of the 58 months. Clever and witty comment here. There you go. What's up, man? That was fun uh, RPing with you a little bit there. Hope you're doing well. Oh, he's got him in. They got that person in custody. That officer does. Oh, does he? Yup. They're 1015. And they are dragging them out of the vehicle and they are putting him in the back of it now. So that is interesting. Haven't heard any further on that, but that's what's happening right now. So let me go ahead and go to manual mode here. I'll come back around and grab that person on the car. One. Okay, we got it now. We'll hear it here in a second. It's one, two, six. So Connor's the one that's got them arrested. Uh, I think you guys got, uh, got hit by the subscription bomb that happened a little bit ago there. But thank you. He's dragging him. Only things missing is Kathy Brunswick filling in the interaction. Yep, pretty much. They don't drag. They don't drag Tim. That's what she would say. They don't drag Tim. They don't drag Tim out of out of his core and put him in the back of that other core. That's what she would say. More than likely. He would not be happy about that. Nope. All right. I guess he's going to be good, man. I'm going to go ahead and just break off manual mode. We're going to get out of here. All right. Great seven, County. 
because I have no idea. <laughs> he didn't call in that one on the radio at yeah, all. He's just got somebody 1015. Hey, firm, I was just about to have you mark me 988 with a warning. 37988 with a warning. 23. Very interesting. Oh, I'm sure I'll play farm and sim again at some point. I just don't want to play to the level that I was County before with all the... I hear it's 126. Connor's right. going to call in. He's There was a lot of bugs when I was playing farm sim that kind of put me off on it. Well, to me, it's just there was just it was getting to the point where I was putting too much pressure on myself to like drive with all the peripherals and all that stuff, and it was just kind of took mm -hmm. all the fun out of it. So I I plan to return back to it and play it, but especially with the new logging expansion, yeah. But running the farms like that's dedication and a lot of time. And unfortunately, I was really hoping the farming sim would really take off with the new 22, but it kind of did the opposite. Like farming sims kind of on a like a decline. Not a lot of people playing it anymore. Yeah, it. Since he reads, I'm flying with Mr. Stoppel. One, two, six, go. Got Chuck E. Cheese here in the uh, helicopter. Be advised, Pinky Toe in route to your location. It's kind of a on rotation. ETA four, Mike. Bad pilot. Ten four. Bad pilot? Is that what you said? Yep. Yeah, I broke balls back the other day when I was flying Air One with him. <laughs> he wasn't very happy with me. That's funny. Oh, sun's gonna be coming up. Let's head down to the city. Let's see if we can find this stupid Camaro. It's kind of driving me nuts. I don't know if it actually happened or if it's an RP that it happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the downside to it. Sometimes we don't know and. Somebody wants to further a story. They just say that, oh, my car was stolen, but there isn't an actual physical car for us to even track down. So I don't know if that's the truth. Maybe the lift is going to use the stolen vehicle as their drive. Uh, their car. Maybe. That doesn't hurt to come down here and check it out. Let's drop that back down to 360 on your altimeter. What's that car? Nothing. The mad the mud actually made you get stuck. That would be awesome. I like the mud itself. I agree, Mitch. They should have made it to where you get stuck in, in this game. I, I would imagine they're going to do that for GTA 6 because, you know, Everglades, mud. You got to have a mechanic where your car gets stuck. That'd be pretty cool. Because they're so close because they have so many cars that have four-wheel drive in, in GTA. CD, anybody come down here? Air one county. Air one. You still with one two six or you uh negative, it appeared they were ten fifteen with a subject, so we broke off a while back. So we're back we're ten eight, we're down the city looking at that Camaro. Sure. We really jet lagged at all after the world flight event. Yes, a thousand percent. 1,000%. It's been hard to get back into the routine again, so. Yes. Yeesh. Hey, Sharky J. What's up? How you doing? There was very little sleep to be had during World of Light. Yep. Sheer Insane and Shadow, man. They were, they were living off of nothing, dude. Hey. We're not alive. They're zombies.
Looked like it was fun. Oh, it was a blast, dude. Absolute blast. Still zombies. There you go. Are you guys still there? Are you guys doing the repo flights? Sandy one six three. I got shot by the motel. Got up in the middle of the night when I got home to see if the stream was running. <laughs> Dude, same. <laughs> uh, that's good. Dear Lord, no. No, they're not there. Yeah, Sheeran Sane's from uh, Pocatello, Idaho. 902, I got a subject that uh, just ran to oh. a motorcycle. Yeah, right there, Sandy, right there. Him. Ran to a motorcycle? Uh, 902, what's your 20? Got him. I'm sorry. Uh, 1019 Algonquin. Okay, so you're out with the Sandy unit? Yeah. So we're. Let's head up there and help them. Let's do it. Shadow, are you, do you have two? Do you have two different pseudonyms cool generation. in the chat? I'm confused. Yeah. I could have swore you had a Perhaps subscription. They were supposed to one zero four. Maybe I'm crazy. Is she stopple streaming? Out on an MBA, uh, nope. Found a nope. Ford or pickup truck. No, no occupants. Uh, just stop me at tow, please. I don't have the persona to stream. The persona. <laughs> Ridiculous. County 126. I'm very sad that I can't play America Truck Sim Texas. I'd be 100% on it right now. Unless you want to fly down here and help me build this stupid... Uh, build this sim rig. Can't be that bad, can it? It is that bad. It's it's just <laughs> it's the hundreds of T nuts and aluminum rails. No. Oh. Yes. It's that bad. I dude, it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to build. I, I just I don't know why it's so difficult, but like we, we stare at the instruction booklet and go, just and I'm good right now. I just I don't wanna I don't even want to upset myself, so no. One ninety be advised. Any mini miny toe in her tier location. Any mini miny toe. Game. My God. Have you seen the Google Doc that Bradley has created? No, I don't know. For all the toe names? Nope. It is pages long. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Any mini miny toe. God. I'm running an FLD with a cattle trailer. Nice, Mitch. Kind of forgot. Any, about, anybody uh, who's worked with T nuts, they know. Earlier, people were saying the same thing. They they understand. Have you ever worked with them before? They go in the rail and you you tighten them down onto there. No. It's like a adjustable. It's like an adjustable spot you would screw something into. Oh. I don't like them. Worker guy, thank you very much. Oh Switch yeah, I need to get a hold of you, Hadley. Uh, how much? How many flights did you record? Counting on three ten fifty. Because there's Go ahead, all the good ones that I'm missing. Ten twenty five eastbound. On my Johnny Twitch, Road. like on, on YouTube, YouTube keeps telling me that the stream is like unavailable. Want to go back to watch it? Car. It's like one hundred twenty six hours long. Sad story. Didn't happen. There it is. Not much. <laughs> There's the stop down there at the thing on the motorcycle. Oh, I got that. My game is freezing One, every now and then. Road. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah mine was just doing the exact same thing, the stutter. Time for, I'm just looking yeah. Right now. Yeah, you're flying around the, uh, the, uh, the hotel over here. That's the stop with the motorcycle. I can see him down there. Andrews, five, two, nine, back to there. Back to nine, back to native, triple zero. Pop it again. Pop, 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 popcorn. Stop it. Holy cow, dude. One, six, three, what is that? Makes me, right. makes me think it's if not, it's uh, maybe the hotel. Yeah, I don't know. And I mean, at this point, I don't really have enough to detain him. Did you find anything? Uh, I'm not sure if I found anything. Stop doing it now, so I don't know what the hell's going on. 
the file is uploaded to drive now. You're welcome to scroll through it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just send it to me on Discord if you can, dude. I added you on Discord. Oh, and they disappeared. That's all right. Nothing was becoming of that anyway. I want a pursuit, dang it. Come on. <laughs> One night we don't get a pursuit. Oh, wait, we have something that might be working on a pursuit over here. A muscle car. We got a Chevelle. Yeah. I'm trying to do a big orbit to get both the hotel and that traffic stop. Yeah, this traffic stop I'm caring about right now. I don't care about the other one. BBP. Reach out to Shadow. He has it. Okay, cool. I'll check it out. Yeah, Black Chevelle. Got three. Anything becomes of it. Nine of three. Be advised, I got zero five zero out with me. Simple. Okay, so that's Jason out with him. Redcom, thank you so much for the cheer. Appreciate you. Guys are gonna take off. Don't look like it. Five zero nine zero three should be advised. He is suspended. Oh, we suspended. We might have a pursuit. Uh, we might get what we're looking for here. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Well, we'll see if he takes off or he's gonna give up. Uh. I don't really disclose what server I'm on anymore. Ruffles. We did it for a long time and people just seem to have a certain expectation if you're doing a certain server. So just don't even bother with it anymore. Oh, that's weird. When the helicopter flies in the, in the, uh, camera view, the shadow, it like draws in vegetation around it. That was weird. Really? Yeah. The shadow did that. Huh? That's oh. all good, man. But yeah, people have a lot of expectations if we're on server two versus server one. What is this guy? What's Mr. Pallets doing over here? Oh, he's behind a police car. So right now they're informing this guy. He's a su suspended license. He's probably arguing about it. He's probably going to take off. Well, we'll see. New piloting games, four months. Thank you very much. Monthly pasta fact four, according to the International Pasta Organization, Italians ate all the pasta and spaghetti. He's taking off. Yep. Three. 31. Off. Hell yeah. Everyone, we can get your call outs for you going here. We're eastbound. Joshua Road coming up on Marina Drive right now. 1036. Number 1261933873. Can you attach? Still eastbound. Joshua Road at Seaview. Passes Seaview coming up on the LTD and Route 13. 1042. One nine three and route. Crossing making a left. Northbound thirteen. Northbound thirteen one zero four eight. Next cross will be at Union Road. Northbound thirteen one zero four eight. Essentially, this channel hold in effect. He and needs to go faster so I can use the speed. Five two nine copy direct. Crossing Union well, still bound. Left. Northbound thirteen headed towards Braddock Pass. Northbound 13, passing the tunnel, 3031. Northbound 13, 3031. I've uh, advised state units as well. Charger, go ahead and pass me. Continuing north on That's 13, low. coming up on the truck stop now. Continue northbound 13, 3028 towards Polito. 
Northbound 13 towards Toledo. Signal 4 hit uh, a couple bikers from what I can see there. We have the roll medics right there. 3027 on Great Ocean Highway. We're headed into the city limits now of Polito Bay coming to the Ron Station. 3026. 3026 towards the Ron Station. Requesting medics at 3027 for structures. Still going to be continuing on west. Sorry, uh, now we'll be turning south Great Ocean Highway at Delos and uh, coming up on Polito Boulevard. Still continuing on Great Ocean Highway past the Sheriff Station. Southbound GOH, or Toledo Boulevard, passing the Sheriff Station. Need more speed here, Chuck E. Cheese. I'm trying. We're going to be in uh, Palo Springs for Copia Promenade. Still continuing on Great Ocean Highway past the Lumberyard. I don't want to overfly them. No, I know. Not sure if we're having signal force with vehicles down there. Uh, they're continuing on a Great Ocean Highway now. Next will be uh, near the state park here, 3001. Southbound GOH, 3001. Crossing the Cassidy Creek Bridge now, and we'll be coming up on hookies here shortly, 2001 Great Ocean Highway. Bridge, Signal, four. Signal four. Shot. Looks like we have muscle flashes. Ten nine. Muzzle flashes. Shots were fired. Subject down right now. We're two zero zero one right outside of Hookies here. They're gonna be shutting down the highway. Well, that escalated. He dead. Right, <laughs> Shots fired at my vehicle. Subject is down at the time. We're uh, challenging. Holy moly, he dead. <laughs> Shots fired, right. suspect down, challenging one, <laughs> 2001, GOH southbound. It's always that curve, too. That curve gets him, man. He signaled forward right into the into the uh, guardrail, and he got shot up. It's getting my... Yeah, units on scene. Yeah, We've got, uh, we got the camera zoomed in there. Subject is slumped over and uh, not making any movements. Good job on the uh, on the orbit here with the terrain. Not making any movements. He's not unconscious. He's dead. He got shot in the head like several times. <laughs> they, <laughs> like they straight up destroyed him, man. But I mean, he started shooting at them, so yeah. Okay, Sheer. That's awesome, man. I think uh, I think it would be something I can use there. I just I just wanted some good landings that I had and uh, and takeoffs and things like that. Behind the rock here. Nine hundred three, we got one secure. Go ahead and move medical in. Nine hundred three, one secure. Yeah, he's All on the ground. Him. They pulled him out. Oh yeah, he D E D. He did. D O A dead on arrival. <laughs> Juicer 3D, yes, I saw the new uh, Truck World Australia game. Yep, it's going to be amazing, man. Very, very excited about it. Watch your altitude here. We're getting into some terrain. Yep. Getting scary. Look at that. The clouds cleared up. I didn't even do that. And 903, if we have the channel held, you can, you can lift it. 10-4, attention units, channel hold lifted, double zero seventeen break. Ground units, be advised, uh, county medics are responding. County medics and route. Copy, thank you. All right, man, we can roll out of here. All right. Air One County, we're going to be heading back into the county right now from that scene. Air 198 to the county. 0017. Hope he doesn't have a bad back. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, Shadow Rabbit. That's the Shadow Rabbit. Then we have other Shadow. Okay, so that's why I was getting confused. I see now. Now I see.
Medic, more, yeah, he's having a pavement fly. nap. He's at, he's having a pavement nap. The more and more I fly this, the better I'm going to get. Oh, yeah. Just a 3D. Uh, just so you know, there's a great Australian map, Outback map for uh, American Truck Sim, man. Real good stuff by Rob. Almost felt like I was overflying the pursuit when I was going. Yeah, because it's fast, but we were getting caught. We were, I know we were getting behind a little bit there. But yeah, no, you cleaned it up. It was fine after that. There's no issues. Dispatch out of channel 911. Oh, 911. See, we can hunt the 911 before it happens. I love playing that <laughs> game. Find well, the 911 before you get it. He got the yellow jack. Let's go to the yellow sandy. jack. Let's go to the yellow jack. The truck there. That might be it. There's a guy with pallets at the yellow jack. And that could be who we're looking for. Oh, he's just hanging out, so we'll see. Nothing happening down there. As much as I've been doing, as long as I have done this, I would say it probably is the yellow jack. I've not seen anything down here in front of the Mama Johns or anything like that. A 911 call would might be coming out of the yellow jack. If I had to guess. But we can check the boathouse. We can check the motel. I'm not seeing anything there either. And we can head. So we just kind of hang out right here in between. Uh, more than likely. Everyone uh, only refuels after like you need to. You kind of RP it here and there. Helicopters can stay in the air a pretty long time, actually. But we have we do have like a limit during pursuit. Well, not even that anymore. I don't even know what it's at. We we've revised it so many times just because it kind of just takes you out. Just kind of whenever you feel like it. Yep. Maple one eighty six. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome, stream family. All right, chat. What's the over and under on uh, Yellow Jack being our nine one one call? Is that a helicopter down there behind the LTD? Oh, that is a helicopter there. That's like a yellow one. Dispatch back in channel. Well, maybe that's our nine one call. And they disappeared. Official unit, stand by to copy Bolo. It's oh. a Bolo. Well, the reason why I thought it might be the Yellow Jack is because that Civ was just sitting in their truck, just hanging out. Usually, that's when they're on the phone with 911. Right. Here comes our Bolo. Destroying it. Be on the lookout for a black Silverado. Oh my God. 28 last seen in the area. 10:45 East Joshua Road. Reference <laughs> stolen pallet break. I got him. <laughs> I got him. I knew. I told you. I've been doing this way too long. I've been doing this way too long, man. A larger male wearing a reddish orange plaid shirt. <laughs> Got him. So predictable. Dude, it's so predictable. <laughs> Chris Biz, what's up, man? Thank you for 30 months. Canny 050. 050. Instantly, dude. Canny 
if I can add to that poll, I've pulled that gentleman over twice. His name is Bill Burns. Bill Burns. Tipper, I'll add it to the poll. Here, one county. Go ahead, everyone. Yes, sir. We were playing Hunt the 911, and we uh, we we are already orbiting that vehicle. It's at the Yellow Jack at the parking lot there. Tipper, confirming you have the Polo <laughs> vehicle at the Yellow Jack. 10-4, black Silverado with pallets in the back of it. 9-5-1. Uh, and the gentleman is matching the description. <laughs> We've been doing this way too long. Way too long. Everybody's so predictable. Especially when it comes to the county. I'm going to watch the Artemis launch 10 minutes away. Oh, 10 minutes away. Give me a five-minute warning and I'll, I'll pop it up. Nope, there he goes. Vehicle is on the move, leaving the Yellow Jack now and on the dirt road headed towards Route 68. <laughs> Good orbit, man. Tip Thanks. County 193. Almost seems like uh, I have a better orbit going to the right than so I do the break. left. See, I can only do a left one because I Three, have to seven, look through the porthole. Can you start towards the Bolo vehicle that everyone's tracking? We have no units with them here. 10 4, what was the latest 20? Trying to get it to you. Uh, slow speeds right now, Route 68. We're westbound, headed into Harmony right now, 944. Westbound 68, 944, 1263 at 7 unit direct. 10 4, coming around. Larry's RV across from the Route 68 Customs and the motel, continuing east uh, westbound right now. Speed's probably right around like 50 miles an hour. He's being tracked. Yep. We'll be coming up on the dollar pills right now in the 24 7 934. 934 Westbound 68 dollar pills. He turned into the Dollar Pills parking lot and is now make is parking in front of the Dollar Pills. He's going to the way. Stop at the Dollar Pills parking lot. He's going in the back, I think. And scratch that. He is now going to be going towards the back of that building, probably to take more pallets. Oh, I lost it on the manual. Got it back again. Subjects out of the vehicle next to the up and Adam trailer out at the uh, right behind the suburban here 934. Behind the suburban 934. He is. He's taking pallets. There it is. He's stealing pallets. <laughs> 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 he grabs pallet. There it is. I'm keep an eye on him on manual again. We need a tighter orbit. We're going to keep okay. an eye on him. I don't have any eyes on him right now, but we'll see. He comes out here. Might be in the same spot though. He might come to the back here. Yeah, he's still there. Dispatch out of channel for another 911. There we go. Subjects backing out now from the up and atom trailer, and we are now going to be coming back out onto Route 68. And he's gonna be making a right hand turn. So he'll be westbound Route 68, coming up on the 247 here at uh, 930. Well, the rain really popped through, didn't it? Yep. I'm so tired of it raining in the server, dude. <laughs> it's behind the 24-7. Uh, looks like we're going to be on that dirt road right behind the 24-7. Coming back around now onto Route 68. Where are our units at? Unit, it's right behind you there. There he is. He turned back out on westbound 68 in front of the 24-7. Still tracking him? Yeah. Westbound will be coming up on the motel at Joshua Road at the light. There they are. They got him. You got eyes. Yep. They're going to light him up. There he goes. Here, I'm going to get rid of the rain, dude. I'm sorry, but they're so sick of the rain. I've been hearing it. We're, we're supposed to get a new script. I know that... uh I know Darren's been uh, working on a new script for us, so I'm excited to see that happen. That's going to bring... The, uh, weather? Yeah, I, it's going to have a, like an actual weather script. Oh, nice. 
Bolo, Silverado. Flight's gonna be six eight Lima. There we go. The best racks channel. It'd be nice to have it to where it can actually. It's it's not a cycle. I heard what sounded like a crash. One nine zero one nine three. Can you start towards nine five four, route sixty eight and thirteen on a stolen vehicle and signal four? Nope. One that is we we stopped and talked to them earlier. One nine zero one nine three. Whenever we were out with uh, zero five zero. I'm pretty sure that's Noah. Fought with a biker and then proceeded to get ran over. All stage county medic. So I imagine that's Noah. Noah Lewis. Some of you may know Noah Lewis. We have more altitude than this. Uh, some of you all may know Noah Lewis. He's a uh, freelance county reporter, one, journalist for NASCAR. One, two, Just to update you, we are uh, stopped at 920 West Route 60. Stop 920 Westbound 68 with the silver. County 050. 050. I'm 101098 off that call on Grand Ocean Highway. At 0029. Don't mind. Now he's getting out of the vehicle. We're going to talk to him. Oh, 050 is down there with him. So that's who pulled him over was Jason. So Gary Barry has got him pulled over and turns out he was stealing pallets. I called that from the very beginning of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he running? He's getting back is in. He he's taking off. 1031. Looks like they're going to be taking off at the gas station here. Going to be eastbound Route 68 crossing joshua road still going to be eastbound on 68 after burning we're still eastbound route 68 we're coming up on the motel here shortly 930 eastbound 68 930 there's going to be another stop 95468 Passing the uh, customs, still continuing East Route 68, coming up on the fruit stand. 903-050-163, can you attach? 903 in route. Continuing eastbound Route 68, coming up on the yellow jack here shortly, 946. I'm going to try to divide up that panorama. Be a left turn, left turn now on the panorama. We're southbound panorama at the yellow jack, headed towards the airfield, 951. Left turn panorama 951 towards the airfield. 163, are you attached? 10 4, I'm going to be full. Cross the railroad tracks at Panorama. Panorama in Joshua, still continuing northbound on Josh, or sorry, on Panorama, headed towards the boathouse. Eastbound Marina Drive, 1017. Wrapping around on Marina Drive, cut up on Algonquin now. And looks like we're going to be headed towards Sandy's gas station and continuing towards Joshua crossing over the dirt road and tracks in onto Nowhere Road. Onto Nowhere Road. Southbound Nowhere Road. We're going to be coming out on Cat Claw and Smoke Tree. Right turn, Smoke Tree Road, headed towards the airfield. Right turn, Smoke Tree, towards the airfield. Going back up onto Panorama Drive here. We're making a left turn. Going to be southbound out Panorama towards Yellow Jack. Left turn, southbound Panorama towards Yellow Jack. Yellow Jack parking lot. Subjects bailing at the Yellow Jack. Subjects bailing on foot at the Yellow Jack. 
All right, he's in. Oh, there he is right there. They're going to try to, they're trying to tase him. It looks like they're going inside I'm on manual control right now. I'm gonna try to get that officer in a second. If you want to hold a hover on the far yeah, east side here, the yellow jack you can get a better shot. I don't think he's a threat right now. They're heading back into the cars. Yeah, they're going to head to the back. There he is. Yeah, they're they're converging here. Let's let's get a hover on uh, by the just above the the radio towers there or the satellite dishes. Oh, he's on top of the he's back over there and he just got tased off the top Beautiful. of the uh off of the pallets back in the front. <laughs> so you, you can send your uh, your uh, orbit now, sorry. Good job, man. That was hilarious. I got to see him get tased off the top of his <laughs> pallets there. Hang on, I'm trying to get him manually. There he is. We got him now. There he is, 1015. Oh, 1015, you can clear there. 1015 at 0034. It's showing you this channel hold up. And there you go. Yeah, back to the airfield when you yeah, want to, dude. Three sufficient units on scene. I'll be All right, head back to the airfield. 190, San Andreas. Man, I cannot believe it's already been three hours. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's always, it's always Air One that makes it having fun. Oh, yeah, dude. 190, San Andreas. You better believe it. Go ahead. You and uh, one nine three ten four on scene. Yeah, we're on scene. We got a. You know, this started and ended in the Yellow Jack parking lot. Oh yeah, that's it's usually how it happens, man. We can get those, uh, that's almost a guarantee. Sorry. All right, ten four. They're already staged. So I'll go ahead and. Uh, Classic Yellow Jack. All right, we need a good landing out of you. Come on, you can do it. Putting a lot of pressure on me. Oh yeah, we expect nothing but the best out of our air unit. There you go. All right, Just 10 out of 10. Like that. I thought that was pretty good, man. Nicely done. Oh. Oh. Don't forget that beacon light. There you go. Nice. Very nice indeed. I'll set this up for Plus. my audio. Let's way down for helicopter stuff. Let's go talk to this guy. What does he want? Hey, what's up? Just want to say thank you guys for your service. You guys were awesome out there. Oh, we appreciate oh, it. Have a going, man. You too. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You have the flashing light thing, but that's just because of uh, engine always on. It happens, okay? It happens. <laughs> Holy moly. Holy moly, everybody. All right. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. I'll send you over to Glowstick Willie. They're playing music and having a good time. Show them some love. We had a blast hanging out with you tonight. Big thanks to Chuck, the Stopple here, for flying with us here at the end. It was awesome. Got ground and air all at the same time. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. County 193. 193. Can you uh, send uh, county medics to the off ramp at 954?